Fantastic. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to do a little bit of introduction. No one's here yet, I'm sure. I don't know in StreamYard, Matt, if you can see the comments. Uh... Or yes, if you can only see can. the private comments. Okay, I cool. Can see so, the comments, yeah. I can't awesome. comment myself, but I can see it. I see. Okay, as long as you can see it at least, because we might have some uh, people coming in here asking you some questions about the game. So if you can see it, that'd be that'd be cool. If you could, um, then you can respond that way, and I don't have to sure. necessarily tell you. Okay. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are here on a third. It's Thursday, right? A Thursday evening at eight thirty, and we are here with Matt. Cousino. Is it Cousino? Cousino. Yeah, close Cousineau. enough. Cousino. Damn it. I went, all right, before the stream, I went to Natalie and I was like, all right, it's Matt Cousino or Cousino. I was like, Cousinu, Cousino. I didn't say Cousino. And then I was like, we're playing Kuiperium? Kuiperium? <laughs> I was like, I'm going to mess up My both goal of these. Is just and... to mess you guys up. Yeah, I did get messed yeah. up both times. Is that some of the artwork on your background right there? It is, yeah. Oh, cool. Wow. <laughs> that wow, that's the, cool. That is the space station from our game, Kyperium. That is amazing. So we are going to be playing Matt's game, Kyperium, which uh, potentially is coming to Kickstarter sometime this year. Yeah, hopefully later this year. There's, like, this is our first ever Kickstarter, and it's way more work than we ever imagined. And um, and we've never done it before. So it's like we say later this year, um, but we've been saying that for two years. Um, yeah. so, so we're just, we're just figuring it out and, um, yeah, things, things look pretty good for like fall. That's great. Now who's we, uh, so my co-designer, Steve Castle. Um, okay. Yeah. He's, he lives, uh, here in Ontario as well. And, um, so we've been working hard on it for, uh, I guess a year and a half now. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a blast. It's both, uh, I guess it's my first design. And um, yeah, looking forward to sharing it with uh, with you guys, and eventually with everybody else. I am so pumped to play it. You um, you talked about it a little bit. So uh, for anyone watching this later, we have a Discord server. And Matt joined our Discord server not too long ago, and in the introductions channel, the Discord server, he let us all know that he's designing this game, Kyperium. And a bunch of us in there have been hooked on your pitch, your little elevator pitch that you gave us, <laughs> which, I, and I'm not going to do it a very a horrible disservice, and Matt will explain the game in just a little bit when we get into it. But basically, um, you're is a two player only, and yeah. you're playing gate, you're playing against each other, trying to kill each other, or trying to you know knock each other out, and you're playing cards in front of you that are going to help you maybe for your tableau, but. Those cards have spaces on them that your opponent can use. So it sounds like it's going to have this really interesting decision space where, okay, what do I do? Do I, I want to play this card because it really helps me, but oh, I know that's going to give Natalie this thing to go, and now it's going to help her more than me. What do I do? Is that basically what's going on? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. It's a worker placement tableau builder. So you're building your tableau on your side, trying to set up big plays for, for some, uh, some point scoring. Uh, but every card you play... Um, it creates a worker placement uh, location for your opponent that only your opponent can use. Uh, so it's like you really have to weigh the pros and cons of every card that you play and what opportunities you're giving your your opponent. That is awesome. Wow. That's I can't wait. So yeah, that that intrigued me for sure, and I knew that I wanted to play this game. And Matt's like, you know what? How guess what? You can you can play it with me <laughs> on TTS. How about I teach it to you? And I said, hell yeah, let's get that going. So here we go. We're going to do it tonight. Um, Matt, do you have a, um, a server you want us to join in Tabletop Simulator? Yeah, I have a table up. Uh, just look uh, look for Kyperion. K-U-I. That's the server name? Yep. Okay. No password. Oh, cool. Um, oh, I'm, whoops, I'm in the... I'm, yeah, used to be... I'm, I'm used to creating servers, so I went to join. <laughs> there we go. All right, I went to create. Okay, there it is. Okay. Beautiful. So are you Nang Max eighty five? That's Natalie. That's Natalie. That makes sense. Yep. That's Sand me, Sandman, there right there. Cool. Oh, beautiful. All right, let's get some colors going. I want to be. I'll be orange, Natalie. I'll be purple. All right. Sounds great. Oh man, look at this. This looks cool. All right. Yeah. Me, the, um, a lot of the, I a lot of the art is coming along. Yeah. Let me. All right. Let me get this on the stream here. All right. So let's see. Let's share. Oops. Let's share this guy. Uh, this one here. There we go. Okay. This looks great. 
Um, all right, you want to uh, kind of let us give us the rundown here, what we're doing? Yeah, let's jump into it. So uh, you'll see here there's some cards to help you out on uh, on the side. Um, these are all of the different iconography you'll see in the game. Um, it is a card, so you can alt over it to see it uh, better. Yep. Um, and then uh, on the other side of the cards here, you've got the actions that you can take in the game. So the goal for the, our goal going into this was to make the game um, really relatively easy to teach. Um and, but a ton of complexity uh, in your decisions. So there's not a ton of rules in the game. Basically, you, you by just looking at these two cards, you know like 95% of what you need to know. Um, okay. And uh, yeah, so I guess we'll jump into it. So I'll bring your, and then I'll bring your attention to this card over here. So right. uh, from top to bottom, these are the five actions that you can take, okay? So you can play a card from your hand or from your secret lab. We'll get into what the secret lab is uh, in just a moment. Um, so playing a card from hand, you'll just take a card and you'll put it anywhere on your tableau. So if I'm, uh, there's a line here across the middle to... So uh, anywhere in here, basically? Correct, yeah. So okay. you'll be placing your cards uh, and you always have to be attached to what we call the space station. Ah. So I guess, let's take, a, I guess, a, a two second time out here and, and just talk about the theme of the game. So the idea is that the Earth is dying, um, humanity is trying to escape, um, but they do not have the technology and ability to do that. Uh, recently, humanity has discovered a new element called Kyperium, and you can see it here at the bottom um, of each of your playmats. Um, and this Kyperium is a new element that is like extremely powerful and uh, the best uh, kind of... Um, is like a fuel or an element that is allowing humanity to like um, be able to potentially, if they with with research, be able to do interstellar space travel, etc. Um, so, like you know, it's pretty vague, but uh, whatever it gets the point across. I like it. So the idea is that there's this Kyperium growing in the asteroid belt, uh, in the Kuiper belt, which is at the edge of our solar system. Um, and humanity has sent two corporations to go out there and mine it and research it um, as humanity's last hope to escape and try to get to a new planet. Ooh. Yeah. Um, so these two um, companies or, or corporations are, quote unquote, working together, uh, building a space station. But of course, they're both greedy. And so on the surface, it looks like they're working together. Uh, building the same space station, which is represented by this tableau of cards. Um, but, you know, in the background, there's subterfuge and sabotage, and they're both messing with each other um, and that kind of thing. So uh, when you play a card, you will play it adja adjacent to the space station. You can go diagonal. You can and obviously. You can oh, play. you but can you, go diagonal. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, but you obviously you cannot play on the other side. Oh, is it going to create some little corner like. Exactly. Like, so, like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so every single card will have a bunch of, uh, let me turn that around here, a bunch of corners on them. Um, and there's four different colors. There's also wild corners. And then there are uh, black corners. And so the black corners don't do anything. They're just kind of dead. Hmm. Um, and let me see if I can find us a wild. There we go. Wild. Okay, oh, so there's it's like, a yeah. rainbow, it's like rainbow colored. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there'll be uh, four different colored cards and our, our cards as well as four different colored potential corners, black corners, and then also the wild corners. So okay. when you're playing, you're basically trying to build what we call synergy. You're trying to build up these corners to match as much as possible. Sure. So for example, if you were building this tableau, you might try to do something like this. Right, because okay. three, three of the, of the four, three of the are... four matching. Right, so that's okay. that's good for you. Uh, whereas a corner like this, you've got two matches, um, and a corner like this, you've got no matches. Sure. Okay. Okay. So playing a card, um, you're going to choose the location. You're going to play it into your tableau wherever you think makes the most sense. That's part of the puzzle. Part of the fun mm -hmm. is trying to figure out where where to place your cards, and then you're going to mm -hmm take the action that's printed in text at the bottom of the card. Right? So okay. in this yep. in this case here, it says remove a worker, yours or your opponent's. Then if your opponent is further up the track, you may play a worker. So that's where all the complexity and the decision-making comes is like playing these cards and messing around with the board and workers and trying to gain oh, advantages. I see, I see. 
Okay. That's cool. Real quick, real quick. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff's in the chat here. He says, hey, Matt, excited to see your game. Very hey, cool. what's going on? Thanks for joining, Jeff. All um, right, so I keep going. Cool. So let's play a card. Uh, you're going to find a location, play it, and uh, read the text and do the action that it says. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, so the second is place a worker on any location in your opponent's staging area. So these are what we call staging areas. This is uh, this would be uh, Natalie's staging area, and this, uh, of course, would be your staging area. Okay. okay? Um, so Natalie, once you've played that card, has the ability to then place a worker onto that card. Now, you'll notice at the top of every car, there are icons. Yeah. And those icons are what's going to uh, be available for your opponent. Oh, okay. Once a card is on the table, the text doesn't matter. The only, the only relevancy of the card is the color of the card, the corners, and obviously the iconography at the top. So that's why the icons at the top of the card are upside down, because they're right. meant for your, for your opponent. Oh, that's concerned. cool. Yeah, so the opponent sure. doesn't ever get to do the text action. Just of, yeah. Okay. Correct. Okay. okay. So playing a worker is simply exactly what I just did. You just play a worker on a card. You do not get the benefit yet. You just get the worker out there hoping to get that benefit later. Okay. The third action that you can do is place a card in your secret lab. So on each of your player boards, you'll see there's a place uh, called the secret lab. This is a place where you can basically store a card and keep it safe, um, uh, where your opponent can't mess with it, um, and then you could play it later. Keep the it other, secret. Keep it safe. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. You got it. Um, so the other thing is that you'll notice every single card that has a uh, wild corner mm -hmm. will also have this icon um, on the left okay. on the card, and uh, you'll notice that it matches the secret lab icon. Okay, so these ah, cards okay. must be played through the secret lab. You cannot play it from your hand. I see. Does that make sense? Yep, absolutely. Okay. So you cannot just play this card from your hand. It has to. So you have to first, first put it into your secret lab, and then you can play it. Correct. Okay. Okay. Um, the second to last action is to discard your hand and draw back up to four. You can do that with an empty hand, or you can do it with a full hand, whatever you like. Um, and then the final action is to recall. So in this case, you will recall all your workers, fully resolving them one at a time in the order of your choice. So if oh. Natalie had all three of her workers out, then she could recall them. Um, so you don't get choice. the stuff when you place the worker, only when you recall them back. That's right. Got it. So then one at a time, you'll take it off. You'll bring it back home. You'll get you'll get to you. So in this case, you'll get a Kyperium, destroy an opponent's Kyperium. And then you'll pull this one off. And in this case, you would get a card, destroy, and gain a Kyperium. And then same thing for this for this last card. Okay. So yeah. that is recalling. And you'll do them one at a time, fully resolving them each individually um, as you're recalling them. All that makes sense so far? It sure does. Oh, did we get raided? Ah, I'm on StreamYard, so I can't see. Joe, who raided us, if you wouldn't mind me? asking or are you just calling us raiders what are you calling what what is the, tell me if we got raided i don't have my my notifications on um but hello joe how's it going what's Sorry, up go ahead, Matt. no cool i have no idea what that means raiding oh so on twitch um <laughs> if somebody sees that we're streaming some other streamer and they're about to end their stream they they can do what's called a raid which sends their audience to our stream so everyone oh, cool. on their audience uh chris oh charity board gamer Looks like it. Okay, cool. Charity Board Gamer rated us. Thank you very much, Chris, for the raid. Um, everybody, anybody who's here watching, we are playing uh, the hot new game, Kyperium, by Matt Cousineau. Did I pronounce it right that time? You did. Nailed it. By Matt Cousineau. And uh, hopefully to be on Kickstarter sometime later this year. He is walking Natalie and I through a two-player uh, well, two only game. He's walking Natalie and I through the rules right now. And it seems really, really exciting so far. I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm going to tell you that. I'm very impressed. Cool. I expected a load of hot, shitty garbage. And this is actually, <laughs> oh my God. it's pretty decent. I'm just kidding. No, I, I was, I was, I'm a lot more impressed than I thought I'd be. I was excited cool. for the game, but this is like, this feels like, this feels okay. good, dude. This yeah. feels good. Yeah, well, hopefully you feel the same way once you're all done playing. Uh, yeah. Cool. So, um, yeah, so those are the five actions that you can take on your turn. Um, and then I guess uh, in terms of what you're trying to do, you're trying to race up this track. 
Okay, so you've got you each have a, a, a meeple here, um, and you're trying to race up this track, and you're you're doing that by gaining points. And every time you gain points, you'll simultaneously, I guess, spend them going up this track. We call it the, the discovery track or discovery points. Um, so anything that that references that in the cards is referring to this track that you're trying. So to So points up. are not chi- the same as Kyperium. Correct. Yeah, Kyperium is what you'll use to try to gain points, and we'll got go over it. that in just a second. Sure. Um, yeah. So you, when you gain a, a a discovery point, you can you would you immediately use it to move up. And in this and at this point, if you gain two in one instance, you could go here instead of here. Um, and then when you did that, you would gain these two Kyperion. Oh, I see. Right. Um, and then you need three in one instance in order to move onto this planet, um, etc. Okay, kind of Lords okay. of Vegasy right there. Gotta have those more to move up. I see. Yeah, Very exactly. Cool. Okay, so they're kind of like speed bumps or like, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. That kind of yeah, thing. absolutely. Okay, okay. that's so, cool. I like it so far. Finally, uh, we'll go just over quickly the icons uh, in the game. Um, so um, the uh, the one on the top left is a worker placement location. Every single card has them. There's also a starter board in the middle here, and there's eight worker placement locations on there. Um, so four identical uh, spots that you can are just starter locations. Now I'm noticing that on our side uh, they are facing us, so we are going to place our workers on our uh, own side for these. Or? No, that's just a design flaw that we haven't fixed yet. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, okay. we're still working on it. So you're still going to play okay. on the on the opposite side. Um, okay, it's just upside down for these. Yeah, ones, in fact, I, I, I think our graphic designer might have actually given me the right one. I just haven't put it in TTS yet. <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, yeah, but it functions the same way. Gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah. So, uh, and then uh, to the right of that, you've got uh, just a, gaining a discovery point is that uh, yellow um, gyroscope looking thing. Okay. Just below that, we've already talked about is the secret lab icon. So if you see that on a card, it means the card must be played from the secret lab. Uh, to the left of that, you've got gain a Kyperium. Uh, just below that, so if you see an orange background behind the Kyperium. Let me mm-hmm. see if I can find one. There was one a while ago. Oh, there we There's go. one. Yeah. So that means that the orange, the ones with the orange background, you will only gain if you're recalling all three workers. Because you can recall your workers early. Um, so you can recall just a single worker or two workers if you like. Would you, in that instance, only get the two or are you getting all three? You're only getting, so you're, you're only getting the one is guaranteed and then you'll get all three. If you will you're, get all three. If you're if recalling you recall all of your okay. workers. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Got it. Okay. Understood. Okay. So it's just uh, some of the balancing things that we did for some of the cards. Um, so the uh, robot uh, droid looking thing to the right of that is to move a worker, yours or your opponent's. Ooh. So anytime you see that, you can move uh, your opponent's worker to another location. Love it. Um, and then you got destroy one Kyperium. And then the card icon is uh, not tricky, but there's, there's a little bit more to it. So you can you have to choose one for each instance of the card icon. Sure. You can draw a card or place a card in your secret lab. Okay. So okay. on the starter board, you see here there's two card icons in one location. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so in that case, you could draw a card and then put a card in your secret lab. Or you could draw two cards. Are you allowed to? I'm sure the answer is yes, but just, just to be sure. Could I draw a card? That card is a secret lab card. And then for the next instance, put that card I just drew into my secret lab? Correct. Yeah, that's why awesome. if you're drawing two or three cards at a time, you're gonna, you're usually going to do one at a time. Take a look, look at your options, and then and then continue to draw or put a card in the lab. Got it. Seems awesome. Okay. Um, so the, um, the eyeball-looking thing, we call it the spy network. Okay, so it looks like, it looks like now, the guilty spark. If yeah, so now we're getting fan. into <laughs> now we're getting into the uh, starter locations. Okay, um, uh, so you may gain the recall reward, the icons from a card in your own. Okay, so that has been changed. So ignore the text here. I'm just I'm going to uh, explain it to you. It's very simple. Okay, you discard a card from your hand. Okay, so this is the discard area over here. So you would discard a card from your hand, mm-hmm. pay one Kyperium. And then gain the iconography on that card. Okay, and that's only on a worker placement spot with that guilty spark eyeball. That's right, thing. and and you'll only find it on this board. Okay, 
Cool. It, it, it's not in the cards. Like this need, you'll, the you'll, you'll probably need to tell us tell us about. So that you're again, discarding right? a card from your hand, and you're spending playing. a, a Kyperium. Spending and then a single you, Kyperium, yeah. And then you get the benefits of the worker spot. Okay. The worker as if as if you had done that worker placement spot. So it's basically like getting the. Okay, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you're like sacrificing Instead a card of in your it hand. To them, you're just gonna sacrifice it, but you get it. Yeah, yeah. as a one-time thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. Right. Okay. And then finally, the check mark. Uh, this is what we call the mod factory, and it's kind of the linchpin of the game. This is where you'll get all your points, or most of your points. Okay. 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 So, okay. in order to do that, I'm going to quickly build. Uh, oh, perfect. A little tableau. Uh, yeah. Just to explain some stuff here. That. Uh, thing. Yeah, so let's do that. Okay, so if I could bring your attention to this card, zoom in. Um, Got it. So uh, what we call, first of all, I'll explain synergy. Um, so synergy is you'll take a look at a single card, okay? And you will uh, count the, um, the number of uh, corners that match your card. On all four corners? On all four corners. Okay. okay. So in this scenario, and you don't count the card itself. Oh, I see. So, so in this scenario, two. you're counting one, two. Okay. Plus you've got a wild here. Oh, I see. Okay. So now you've got three. Okay. Okay. If this were here, you, you would four. then have another match in this corner. So this card would be considered to have four synergy. Okay. Okay. That makes sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, once you've got that concept, down, um, you're you're pretty much good to, to play the game. Um, so you're just uh, you're when, as you're playing cards into your tableau, you're trying to build synergy on 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 your cards as you play them. Okay, um, Got it. so this check mark is uh, called the mod factory, and basically we call it completing a project. So what you'll do is you'll pay for Kyperium. You'll okay. choose a card. Okay, so there's a Kyperium bag here. So you're basically just going to accumulate Kyperium like so. Oh, okay. I was okay. How you oh, wait. Where, is, where, where are you? Oh, you're... Yeah, yeah over here. Here. Right? Oh, I see. Okay. So, like, yeah. you're going to be gaining Kyperium oh, gotcha. over the course of the game. And sure. then, so, uh, with that re with that um, mod factory location, you're going to pay for Kyperium. And it's all listed on the card here as a uh, step-by-step. Sure. So you pay for Kyperium, choose a card, count its synergy. So, again, we've got one, two, three, four for this card. Okay, then yep. you're going to uh, gain that many discovery points. Okay, so then you would okay. go uh, one and then potentially two, three, four, if you wanted to sacrifice a victory point to get that Kyperium. Or you okay. could just go one, two, three, four and make your way all, all the way up here. Um, and then you discard that card. So those check marks only oh, on you discard and these the card. cards? Yeah, are check marks found on other cards in the in the deck, or is it nope. only these just, spots? Just these spots. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I and see. Then you I said see. I see. Discard that card. Yeah, that and then discard because the card. you are, or else you just keep getting four points from that, you know. Yeah, exactly. More. Well, as long as you have the Kyperium to spend, but yes. I, yeah, I yeah, yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah, yeah. So if if Natalie had happened to have her worker on that card. Yeah, that's uh, right. Then would uh, it would get discarded, and her worker would get sent back home. Okay. I'm sorry. Say that one more time. So I, it would the car would get, get she just gets the worker back. Nothing bad happens to her. That's right. She just loses the worker, which she spent an action. Right. So she doesn't right. so she doesn't, she doesn't get the stuff. That's right. Got it. Okay. Right. Oh. So you do have to be a little bit careful when you're placing a worker. If you play, if you're placing a car a worker on a car that has a lot of synergy, that is a more that is more risky than placing on a card with no synergy or little synergy. Because the odds of that card being sniped out from under you are, are much lower. If that makes sense. I get it. Oh boy, there's a lot going on here. Oh my goodness, this is great. Yeah. So, like, you know all the rules now, pretty much. You'll probably have a few questions, but uh, that's more or less the rule set. Um, and do we uh, start with any Kyperium, or is this oh, only to be zero? Here? Yeah, we start okay. with zero. Okay. Um, I guess the other thing we can talk about are these what we call affinity yeah, bonuses here at the bottom. Here. So, okay. um, very straightforward. You just read them. So. Um, so this one here says, after you complete a project on a yellow card, you may flip this card over. So and a project in, in is when you we just, score the card? Yeah, Yeah, exactly. So let's say we scored this one the way we just did. That is a red card, so it would get discarded, and then you get to flip over this red affinity bonus. 
And then okay. this bonus says on the other side, from now on, every time you play a red card, you may also play a worker. So your action economy gets a lot better as you complete uh, different colored cards. Okay. Okay, and the, I'm not talking about the colored the colored corners. I'm talking about the color of the cards themselves. Got right? it. I just noticed They're, the cards had different colors themselves. Yeah. On. So a red card, <laughs> blue card. Um, this is a uh, yellow card. Just, um, I mean, it's yellow a it's card. a gray it's a gray card. Just in terms of this bonus, we haven't updated it to gray yet. And how many actions can you take on your turn? Just one. One back and forth. So you're, pick, you're picking of one of these five. Like okay. That okay, that's what I... Okay, so Star Wars Destiny is my like my favorite game of all time. Oh, my God. And we just became, the, Did we just become best friends? You love Star Wars <laughs> Destiny? Yeah, boy. My favorite thing about Star Wars Destiny is that you take an action, I take an action. You take an action, I take an action. It keeps the game, like, popping. Yeah. And damn, I love that game. Yeah. All right. I, yeah, also yeah. An, an all-time favorite for me and very sad about it. Yeah, it's dead. Let's I know, not talk it's about a bummer. It. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> Single tier. I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tell me on the Wookiee where I touched you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, so what is the what are we using the um, the die for? Okay, so uh, you're that's just uh, honestly, it's just a choose a first player thing. There won't be a die cool. in the game. Okay, it's I just see. like it'll just say pick a. A, and the game ends when somebody gets up to this guy? Yeah, the second somebody lands on that five, uh, you win. And that's the game. Sweet. So the last thing um, is we have these eight cards here. And I'm just going to whoops, uh, shuffle them up. And okay. give three to each person. One, two, three. And then you'll get one, two, three. They can be public or hidden, whatever you want. doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, okay. So um, when you hit this planet, number three, and uh, I wouldn't spend too much time uh, on these cards. Uh, just focus on maybe uh, learning the game for the first four or five turns. Yeah, but as okay. you get a little bit closer to this planet, you'll want to take a look at these cards because in the instance that you land on this planet, you'll get to activate one of those three cards. I see. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay cool. So don't worry too much about them now. You can kind of start reading them as you get closer once you kind of have a better flow for the game. Sure. Okay. All what right. Do what do you think out there, chatters? What does this sound? This sounds pretty awesome, doesn't it? I cannot wait. Sorry, Natalie, what were you going to say? I was going to say, how do I flip this so it's like in a nice row? Oh, you're going to probably want to have your um, your degrees up to 90. You might, you might have, that might have been on when we were playing, uh, it might have been 30 yeah. when we were playing Ark Nova. So that'll probably do it. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, this seems really fun, dude. All right, before we get started, let me ask you a couple questions. Sure. Um, how long, and you might have said this before, and I just wasn't listening to you because I do that sometimes, but how long has the game been in development for one? And how did you land upon the artwork? I really like the artwork and like, how did this all come together? Because it's a pretty polished, nice production already. It's getting there, yeah. Um, we've been working on it for a year and a half. Um, I want to say we got like 85% of the way in the first like month. Uh, it was yeah. a situation where like Steve and I just like went. Uh, um, yeah, went we just it. like it just it just grabbed us and we like fell in love with the with the concept and the ideas behind the game and we like just lived and breathed this game for like way too long that's all we did and that's all we thought about um so it got like 80 percent of the way at least like um mechanics wise uh in like a couple of months that's and pretty impressive because that's been, hard to do yeah yeah it, it was it was kind of crazy you just kind of like get obsessed over something and then um yeah there was two of us we probably put like you know hundreds and hundreds of hours just in the first couple of months but yeah it's um wow. So we've been working on it, you know, for about a year and a half. We've been then polishing it and tweaking it and making minor changes and, and that sort of thing. Um, you know, and now we're here and we feel like we're like 98% of the way now. And, um, you know, the the last the last little bit always it feels like it takes even longer um, for that balancing yeah. and, and all that. Um, yeah. And then the artwork, uh, we just kind of came up with a theme. Um and then um, I just kind of went out and found some artists uh, that I liked on, um, I'm forgetting the platform, but. Five, did you use Fiverr, Fiverr or something? 
Uh, we used Fiverr for a few things, um, but for the most part, it was an artist um, that we found on. It's an art platform. Pornhub. That's the one. Oh yes. Okay. I, I thought so. Uh, deviant. <laughs> deviant art. Deviant. Deviant, deviant art. art. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Deviant yeah. art's got great. So I found oh, like cool. a couple of artists on there that I really like their work, and I messaged them and. Um, and uh, yeah, we just went from there and we've been working with uh, kind of two artists mainly um, and uh, and one graphic designer. And it's kind of slowly but surely coming together. It looks great. I really I'm, I'm again, I'm very impressed. I was very impressed when you when you uh, uploaded the pictures into the discord and I wasn't kind of sure what we were going to get into here. But the whole thing is kind of feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm excited to I'm excited for you guys to, to play. And uh, I'm, I'm pumped up, yeah, too. too. Yeah. Natalie's been messaging me privately yet. this whole time going, I can't, I can't do this. Fuck this game. And I was like, just do it for me. <laughs> you got to suck it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, this, this seems really, really fun. Yeah, okay. So we get, do we get four cards? Uh, you will start with uh, five cards. Five cards. Okay. Yeah. So All right. Five. Yeah. And just then the number like, five. Yeah. Yeah. And then in terms of like, you know, the rules, um, each player will, will be able to, kind of do a mulligan um and star and wars put, destiny baby yeah put as put as many cards as you want under the deck and draw back up to five very um, cool okay. but every turn or we, just at the beginning just at the very beginning but we do like usually for for new players you don't really know what you're looking for until you're a couple of rounds in um so yeah, we're not usually gonna, right. we just say like take what you got unless you feel strongly about a card not being good like early game um then you can you can toss you can toss one away sure how long does a typical game go? Would you say uh, once, like without the teach and without being a new player, like Steve and I, um, will get it. We'll bang a game out in thirty to forty-five minutes. Okay, uh, depending on That's how the cards good. fall. Um, and then, like new players, um, you know, after a teach, new players will typically take forty-five to an hour. Um, you know, after a teach. Yeah. And is there an entry on BGG that I can look this up? It is, I think it's, yeah, it is there, uh, but there's almost nothing. Like, I don't, I'm not even sure I have a picture on there. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I, I kind of, yeah, just bare bones put the stuff in there real quick, but I have not sure. uh, spent any time yet. Awesome. Okay. Very cool. Well, I am pumped to give this a try. So, Natalie, you want to roll the die and see, uh, see who goes first here? I was like trying to remember, how do I do this? Uh, okay, oh, well, uh, uh, Natalie goes oh, first. Oh, boy, yeah. Now, well, hold on. I can roll a 12. <laughs> oh, look. Wow. wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, roll what again, are, Natalie. What are the odds? Oh, holy crap. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, babe. Your turn. <laughs> okay. So, All right. I'm doing one of these actions, basically, but I'm probably yeah, so I'm going to guess a play a card of, is probably yeah. a... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try not to, like, guide you guys too much, but just to give yeah. you a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of guidance early. You're mm-hmm. trying to build synergy, okay, yeah. around a card or around a few cards. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're trying to get up to four Kyperium, and you're trying to complete a project by going to this check mark. So four okay. Kyperium build synergy, go up the track. So that's, that's kind, kind of, of your okay, that's kind of our main goal. What you're trying to do. Yeah. yeah. And then you did say like when I place a worker on these cards, I do it on Ryan's side. Yeah. Er- all workers always go on okay. the other side. Yeah. And then so the cards that in my hand. So go like here players. or here or yeah, I adjacent don't. to you. Yeah. I don't want to give you any of this stuff. No, it's fine. <laughs> all looks good. You're supposed to. <laughs> you you promised legally to give me all your stuff. Legally. <laughs> I should look at what I got here. I guess. Um. Okay. So what are these? Right, well. Oh, cool. So these things are basically just based on colors to get them all so you said you can play cards like you can twist it around like upside down or no no they have to be played facing you yeah text facing me Hmm. i do love the idea though of being able to play diagonally i think that's i think that's freaking cool diagonally diagonally (laughs) what did he say diagonally (laughs) what a weird concept (laughs) it's cool i know most games are like Adjacent, no, you cannot touch the fucking corners. How dare you? You know, yeah, you can see like the place where they erase the word fucking in the rule book because they're like, no, you can't say that. But they don't want you playing on those corners. You shall not play. <laughs> yeah, no what playing is, on um, the corners. What is, uh, like, is Mod Factory a name of a card? 
Yeah, so the mod factory is the, oh, the check the, mark. Yeah. Oh, the check mark. Okay. That's our big that's our big daddy that we're looking for. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. So how many logged plays of this do you think you have, Matt? Oh man. Like it's gotta be over. At least huh? ten, it's right? Be, it's yeah, ten, twelve. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's gotta be it's gotta be close to a hundred or you know, in the yeah. Wow. Yeah, or higher. I don't know. Yeah, I would I would guess. I mean, if a year and a half is not that much time, to be honest with you, because I have a design. The design that I've been working on, pff, dude, I've been working on that thing for like five years, probably. And if, as you know, design ebbs and flows. So sometimes, like like yeah. that first eighty five percent you said you did in the first like really little bit of time, you're just you're just like hitting it hard. I don't know if you did this because I mean it's been a year and a half and you're really far. But for me, I'll hit it hard for like a month or two, doing literally living and breathing the game. And yeah. then I kind of like step back and I don't touch it for a few months. Not because I don't want it, just like that's just the way it works, you know. Yeah, for so sure. It can, it can be easy to get into that pitfall. So can I? I can play a card from my hand into the secret lab. If it has yeah. the secret lab icon, that is an action. The oh. other, the other way to get cards into your secret lab is by using card icons. Oh, you can put any card into your secret lab, right? It's just yeah, the ones yeah. with the secret lab icons must Active. be played from there. Correct. Yeah. Oh man, I don't know what to do. What, you don't want me to have those sweet, sweet icons? Okay, so you're saying if I go to that, this, and it has the two card thing, I could place one in there and. And draw, draw. a card. And draw. Yeah. Or play two. Okay. That, or play that two is the there. more efficient way. But I can I, only do that when I recall. That's right. Ooh, you're not playing a card, huh? Ooh. It is more efficient to get your card in your lab by using card icons than it is yeah, by using the action. That makes sense. For sure. I and the gift. Okay. Just to move it along. You go on that one? Okay. Yeah. So you're putting a card in your secret lab? No, I can't do that yet. I mean, but that's right? what that's that's the action you're going to be doing is what you're saying. So that's it. Placing the work and you're done, I think. That's, that's what she did. Now it's your yeah. turn. Yeah. Yeah, now it's my yeah. turn. Right. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Well, you can let him out. I, I'm. It'll take me a second. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna play this guy. Were you trying to look at my stuff? I'm going to, because this card says, "Look at an opponent's hand. Choose a card and force them to play it as their next action." Oh, let's serious? see, little lady. <laughs> right. What do, I, what do you got here? That's rude. What don't you want me to have? Like, Ooh. be prepared for rudeness, okay? This is... Ooh, that is, this is two not... discovery points, and I get to this... Oh, I think I want... Let's see, what does this do? You may take one additional action. That's nice for you, but I want you to play this guy, I think. Okay, but hang on. That card is a secret lab card. Oh, so she can oh. only play it from her secret lab. Oh, yeah. I see. Ha-ha. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so if I forced her to play it, she'd have to play it into her secret lab? She just... No, you can't choose that card. I can't choose that card. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, it's babe! Not, it's not an eligible card That's to play. You got so lucky. <laughs> okay, this one. You little jerk! What do you mean? I didn't That's mean to do that. I was gonna put in my secret. Language. As you saw, and everyone saw, I picked randomly. Let's see. It it's here. got a good. Okay. And so you gain I a Kyperium. Okay. Wait, no. You well, gain yeah. one Kyperium. Yeah, yeah. You gain one Kyperium. Right. Just take two, it out. It's... I get more if it was in my like. Yeah. If it yeah. was, if you had played it from your secret okay. lab, you would get another. Yeah. Card. So that was a, that was actually a really good card to choose because you kind of limited. It right. Stopped her yeah. from being able to play from somewhere else. Okay. And what did you say about? Is how do we do we ever draw back up or is that only taking that card action with your work? Taking the taking the card action. So discard your I hand and draw it. back up to four cards is the action you would take. Yeah. Gotcha. Understood. Okay. So there's no like, there's no like uh, rounds or anything else. It's just now we're going, and you guys just go one, 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 one until until. That's cool. Until somebody okay. until somebody wins. Okay. Wait, so this is would, interesting. If I run out of cards, then you would take that action, discard your hand, which is nothing, and then nothing. draw back okay. up to four. Yeah. I got it. Okay. So then this was not oh, right. a turn because you forced right. it that as her oh, turn. So now it's your okay. turn again. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, well, all right. Well, I guess let's uh, let's do that. All right. 
I'm going to play this, and it says, place this card into your opponent's staging area. Oh my That's God, awesome. So it's going to flip around, I'm going to guess? Yeah. It flips okay. around, and you probably want to put it in uh, yeah, in an area that's going to cause the most okay. damage. So it's got it's got no corner. So that's just like a dud for you. Yeah. Okay. And she can still use this as a worker spot for her? Yeah. Um, okay. Mind you, that's like one Kyberium is not good. Yeah, but that's still pretty cool, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just make a gunk up your board. Right. It's your turn, Ryan. Is it a stupid thing to do? Like, I, there's. I'm gonna guess there's cards. There's car, If we're gonna be messing with each other, there's gonna be cards that are gonna be, you know, doing stuff to our opponent's um, workers too, Perfect. right? Is it yeah. is it stupid to like remove a worker just to get the stuff right away? Uh, no, no, not like, necessarily. Um, you're and you're definitely more vulnerable. And you'll see as the game goes, you're more vulnerable as you have more workers out. But it's obviously way more efficient if you can recall with all three workers. Yeah. So there's a balance there that you'll you guys will you guys will see. Okay, I see. Yeah. I see. All right. So what do I got here? Um, I want to get that guy going, but the oh the black is not. You cannot match that. I see. It just yeah. It's just dead. Yeah. Right. It's just dead. Okay. That's a bummer. Yeah, which is the purpose of this card. Natalie, why'd you do that to me? That's not cool. Um, what is is a local reward the text on the card? Local is that a lo a local reward? So I have a card. This the uh, this card here. Oh, I'm sorry. It says recall, not not local. recall. Yeah. Local so the recall reward. reward is the iconography at the at the top of each card. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So if I played this here, would I get this stuff? So choose an opponent's or, worker, gain that recall reward. So exactly, you would. So get I would get two card icons. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't care. I'm just gonna let's just do that. Um, let's draw. Sorry, babe. You saw my card. Okay, and I'll do it again. And there's no hand limit. Uh, eight cards is where it stands right now. Eight cards. Okay. Yeah. All right, your turn, sweet. All right, this is interesting. What is up, Crazy Cries? How's it going? Nice baby Yoda, Michelangelo bear with a something on it, and I like it. How's it going? We are playing Kyperium with designer Matt Cousineau. What's up? Be jealous. <laughs> Natalie, you might be muted. I am. Yes, because the dang Oh, dog. that sounds terrible. You sound okay. I sound terrible. You did. You did. Going okay. Um, Guess I came over with a raid. Awesome. Thank you for coming over with the raid. I really appreciate it. Oh, you gave me a follow. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much. I apologize. My notifications are not working right now because I'm streaming from a different platform. Uh, but very happy to have you here, Crazy Cries. Thank you so much. What's up, people? Deeple, is this an upcoming Kickstarter? Yes, great question. It is an upcoming Kickstarter called. Um, Kyperium, and uh, Matt here is the designer, and he's teaching us how to play the game, and it's a lot of fun. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask him in the chat, and Matt can definitely uh, answer you for that about those. Did you go? Yeah, yet? I don't know so, if yeah. there's a good spot to put. Like, no. we have a kind of bare bones website right now um, where you can just go and sign up if you're interested in the game uh, for the email notifications. Um, so I'm not sure if there's a good spot to put that. Um, let's see, you can't type, why don't you, can you put it in the Discord and I'll, I'll put it in the chat for everybody, if you can't chat. This might be stupid, but. I did, I, I mean, I, I'm just kind of, as Ben says, I'm just pushing buttons and pulling levers, you I know? think I'm going to recall put it, this I guy. put it in our private chat. Okay. Okay. The private chat. Oh, oh, that works, yeah, that works. Copy and paste it over. Totally works, yes, 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 okay. So here we go, everybody. Okay. This is the website where you can find more uh, information about Kyperium. And don't be a noob and pronounce it Kuiperium. Only idiots do that. It's it's <laughs> uh, quite obviously Kyperium. Obviously. Okay, so you, so you took your worker back, Natalie. That's what you did. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You got some. You got some stuff here. You know. You want to flip it. that. Oh, so, okay. So that, uh, yeah, so Ryan can't see it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do this. 
So it is back to you. You put a thing in this. I put a thing in the thing. In the thing. <laughs> yeah, I um, I placed a card into my secret lab. Okay. Yes. Yes. Made a copy, but what you did that too? What the heck? Well, I did it more efficiently than you. So. Shut up. <laughs> okay. I want to play this card. Where do I want to play it? I want to play it here. Here. No. Why? I, I just messed with you. I don't know. You play wherever you Ryan. want. <laughs> <laughs> Reveal and discard the top card of the deck. Gain that card's re recall reward. What's recall reward? That's the icons, the iconography. Ooh. So you'll reveal a card and gain the iconography stuff. Okay, how do I just grab one? Grab it and flip. Ooh. Oops, sorry. <laughs> well, you lose. <laughs> wow, so you Whoa, get a quick period. Yeah, but I don't have any to destroy, so suck it. Well, I get one and a card. That's yeah. true. Yep. All right, I'll take that. Also, I'd like you to suck it. Here we go. I'm going to do this. Oh, my God. Good time to mention, and now like that you guys both point. have a card in your secret lab, sure. is that if you ever drew a card that you prefer to have in your secret lab, yeah, um, you can uh, get like put, place a card in your secret lab as normal, and you would just swap it. So you just get the other card back in your hand. Okay, so you can only have one card in your secret lab at a time. Yes. Yeah, I guess I didn't mention that. Sorry. Understood. That's okay. We should start over, though. What do you think, Nana? <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> all right, so you place a worker. Yes, yes. So you're all set. You got some opportunities for points out here. Is that what that is? Discovery yes, point. Is, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the way to win. I, like, I can't am... believe you wouldn't do that. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So that's that that spy network uh, again is to discard a card from your hand pay one Kyperium, gain the recall reward. So gain right. Okay, yes, thank you. That's what yeah. actually what, exactly what I was Okay, yeah, yeah, so you could do it now that you have two Kyperium. I see, I see, I see. So crazy cries, people, people, if you guys are still in the chat, what are you guys up to tonight? Did you come over from the Charity Board Gamer stream? What was he playing? And uh, what are you guys up to? Are you guys board gamers? What are What kind of games are you into? Go in there? Yeah. All right. Um, I think, I mean, man, it gives lots of cool. Now, let me ask you this. I'm sure I know the answer. Uh, this icon here, mm -hmm. Natalie can use that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I like Which that. One? Basically, the icons that are right on the edge here. So if you play a card here, here, oh, here, yeah. here, I'll get to, I'll get to then use the, the icons in the top. I Ooh, see. that's Correct. really so if interesting. If this has been played here, for example, then you're giving, you know, you, you right. gain this. Natalie energy. would make a connection. Yeah, yeah she could okay. as well. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, I don't know, Natalie. I'm going to give you some cool stuff. What do you think? You want some cool stuff? Yes, please. I'm going to play a card from my um, what is the glory hole? The <laughs> secret lab. Yes, the secret lab, and this one is going to go here. And it is a data transfer center. So I get to move up to two workers, yours or your opponents. Um, but the reason, the real reason I did that was because of these sweet synergies. Oh, this, one, <laughs> this one sweet synergy. So, uh, so I'm going to move your worker. Okay. You're worse. So let's see. What do you want here? You want some more cards? I I'm want all of it. One Kyperia. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you could also move yours. I don't know if it, you're if you're happy. Yeah, it says up to two. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, right, I know. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool here. I'll go here. I like it. Points, Natalie. I want you to play some cards, please. Well, I want to use my awarka. Nice I want to use my wanka. Yeah, it would be nice. Um. <laughs> Let's see. I wish I had some synergies here that I could utilize a little bit better, but I don't. Uh, okay, so let's see what we got here. Um, no, that's not true. Oh, that's kind of nice. But man, I'm giving her all this stuff. Matt! <laughs> you haven't really given me anything yet. Why'd you design it this like way? I gotta I give her stuff? So I, just stuff. Want, I just want to keep stuff of my own. What do I gotta give her stuff? 
Ah! <laughs> All right, Natalie. <laughs> yes, so I got good. one of these too. Oh my god, that's not good stuff. Is this the oh, area you wanted me to play? Oh. In? How dare you? You can't. You're not even allowed to be mad right now. Right. Yeah, you did it to me. Well, you did more bad stuff to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you married me so, so far. <laughs> yeah, so far. Okay. So far. How is it for you on the on the watching end, Matt? I love it when other people play my game on TTS and I'm like kind of watching and coaching them through it just to kind of see what decisions they make versus what I would make and For sure. It's it's a lot of fun. Um yeah, I mean there's like people playing my game, people from a podcast that I love. So <laughs> That's so cool. That's, that is so uh, cool. This Thank is a you blast. for that. Very cool. Yeah, I'm okay. so far. So I only recently discovered your podcast too. I want to say like you know a month or two ago. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And Can you? Funny. How did you find it? Do you do you remember how you came upon it? I think what I often do when I get a new game uh, that I'm really excited about, I just want to like uh, pour as much of that game into my veins. Same here. I do the um, same shit. We so are best like, friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I will. I will often just go on Spotify and search podcasts for the title of the game. Yeah, so I could listen to like four or five podcasts about that game. Sure. So uh, I don't know which game it was, uh, but I I just did that, and you were covering one of those games at some point in the last couple of months, and uh, and yeah, so that's how I that's how and I that was that. Oh yeah. man, that's okay. That's very cool. Jeff will love to hear that too. We always we always we're always interested to know when we get new listeners. You know, what's the way, because we don't, that's stuff we don't get in the analytics. You know, I'll see a For bunch sure. of downloads and I'm like, oh, where did they come from? You know, I don't know that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's always cool to see. Yeah. So it's important like to have, so you know, games, like major games that you're covering in the title, right? Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. What's going on, babe? You're not sure what to do? Yeah. You see, I'm from your perspective, sure. we're making a J. That's a <laughs> For James. <laughs> I feel like, oh man, I don't want to give you any of this. Duh. It's fine. I come on. What's yours is mine. Sorry, I'm that's why to actually, if you look the at the if you look do. at the space station behind me. Yeah, um, that's why it's all weird looking and different. Oh, that's what we're building. Yeah, you're working. Oh, on okay. Oh, that's yeah. freaking cool. Awesome. That's why it's all like awesome. weird. Has like outshoots and. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. Okay. Well, I mean, this is just our first maiden voyage, but you are definitely going to be seeing this pop up on likely the next or the next episode of the show or or the one after that. So just cool. so you know. Awesome. All right. Um, I'm now I'm guessing do something. this is this mod. We don't have access to this, correct? We it have is to public, play this yeah. with you. Oh, it no, is. Okay. Public, so yeah. so we can play this again. Oh, very cool. For sure. Okay. Oh, I love it. Oh, you get to play a worker. Ooh. If your opponent is further up the track, you may also move her, but I'm not. Okay. Okay. So you got two of your wankers out. Thanks for that sweet, sweet synergy. Um, that I can't utilize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. Um, well, let's see. So when you play a card using the checkmark icon, you can play any card you want to, regardless of what's in circle so, encapsulated so it by, as long as you, you have. Mean, I think you mean this one. Oh no, I'm sorry. This this one here. When you're so when you're getting the points, right from right, right, right. from the synergies, I can choose any one of these cards I want, and then Correct. I just count up the synergies with it. So if I chose this one, I'd count two synergies essentially yeah, in the net. Plus I would, you might that have means counted. I would move up two on this track after spending the four Cyperium. Is that right? Okay. Okay. Cool. Just so sure. it, do the synergies count if they're like across from each other? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this card here, for example, uh, is synergizing with this yellow corner. So right now it yeah. has yeah. one synergy. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Same with this one. But I guess that's next to it. Yeah. Okay. I'm um, sorry, hon. I'm a little locked up here. Let me see what to do. Let's see. Let's see. So that could be good. But again, I don't want to give you this sweet, sexy stuff. <laughs> hmm. You should, though. I know. You are sweet and sexy. But damn. Damn, lady. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I know what I'm going to do. All right. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Let's go here. 
you know what you're doing? Okay, because I don't Finally. know what I'm doing. Right, your workers me, I know off. what I'm going to do next. It'll, it'll all click, like, you know, in another, like, five minutes. It'll all click. Yeah. Yeah. Especially once you start okay. recalling. Because old... I feel like I'm just playing so suboptimal. I'm like, I don't know what the best move is here, which is actually something cool. Ooh, and you got all three workers out, so you could, you're going to. Oh, no, that's oh, yeah. for me. You may discard that's a card from your staging me. area. So I, I can oh, get rid of this. Oh, good one. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh, nice. I don't know where to, where to throw here. You got you it. Just th shove it down my throat is probably what you want to do. <coughs> you guys can hear me okay? The audio is good on my end? You're perfect, man. Yeah. You sound great. Yep, you sound absolutely great. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to pull workers back. Um, okay, so let's do... And I do them in any order I'd like, I'm guessing. When I pull workers back, yeah, Matt? Yeah, yeah, one at a okay. time and uh, resolve So I'm going to get, okay, so I'm going to get two from this, two from this, and I get to get a card. So one, two, three, four. Uh, do I want to play a card in the secret lab? No, I will draw a card. I'm sure you already said this, but I'm blanking. Ooh. How does the game end? When we get up here. Whoever hits this plan. Five, okay. Yeah. And then I and get that's the to winner. take this Correct. back. Yeah. Okay. And this is the one where I discard a card, spend a Kyperium, and then gain the specified stuff. Okay, which one do I want to do? Let's do... So you're choosing cards on your board here. Oh, it's on the board. You're choosing a card from the board, yeah. Oh, Shiza Manelli. Okay, I was... Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Oops, well, that was... Okay. Um, hold on. I, I might be able to do it still. Okay, let's do this one. That's a good choice. Sorry, so how much Han? energy did that have? So um, that had two synergy. Correct, yeah. So she gets her okay. back over here. And I have to spend a Kyperium. Spend four. No, I'm doing the... Um... You're doing the eyeball? Yeah, the eyeball. Okay, that's my mistake. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. No, I, I yeah, I, the reason I did that was to get. Doesn't that still get rid of her worker? Uh, nope, because because the eyeball is from hand. I, yeah, I, that's okay. That's what I. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Doing. Okay, I, I got the you. check mark, but you were doing the eyeball. Okay, so I was doing it. Okay, I was doing it correctly. Okay, yes, okay. you were doing so it correctly. So I was going to do this one. I spent the one, but I get the one back. Yeah. And I get a point, right? That's right. Okay, so I did do that correctly. I don't know if it was smart, but I did it correctly. I don't want to. Just, we're just we're just pushing buttons and pulling levers here. Okay. All right, Natalie, go do your kick-ass turn that you're gonna do. Okay. So I'm gonna recall my workers. Um. Oh, puppy. I know. He's 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 hurt. Okay. Let's see. So I'll do this one. Okay. So, so I get you a get a Kyperium and a point. I'll give you your point. Thanks. Yep. And then I'll do this You're right one. on top of me there. Which one is that one? Another Kyperium. This one here? Okay. Yeah. Ooh, and then you're going to score a card? This one. Uh oh. Which you pay for. Four. So yeah. All of them. I don't know where I put them. And ba back, back in the bag. Yeah. yeah. Or you or could delete, delete it. Them. You could delete them because it's, it's an infinite bag. So if you highlight them all, babe, and then hit the delete button, that's quicker too. That's fine. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to do this card. Okay, so you have, oh, you, you figure One, out the synergies. two, three. Yeah, that's what One, it looks like to two, me. two, three. Yeah, you got it. So you get three points. Do you want to go this way and yes. get the thing? So one, two here, and then, and then three. three there. And so you get two Kyperium. Is that what she gets? That's right, yeah. Cool, good job. And then that card's gone. Get that that's fucking right. thing out of here. Get that out of here. Yeah, so now the cool thing is you have completed a oh. gray card. Okay. Uh, we recently changed our color schemes to be uh, colorblind friendly. Um, mm. So we changed the, the colors of everything except for these little tokens. Uh, uh, so so yellow, is yellow. yellow is gray, yeah. Oh, I see. I was yeah. I was like, I don't have any yellow wow. cards in my hand. Yeah, I was thinking Bullshit. that. I was like, oh, damn it. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And that's that's cool. all the yellow cards. Yeah. yeah so from yeah, now right. on, every time you play a gray card, you'll also get to play a worker at the same time. Okay, I see. Awesome. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, 
All right, I'm going to play the super secret action that Matt told me about before the stream and place all three of my workers at the same time and mm -hmm. then yeah. take them back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all and they all go here. So okay. <laughs> nice. Well, that's nine. Good plan. Yeah. yeah, right. I get, yeah, exactly. Good plan, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just fucking shit up here. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Thanks. <laughs> Gravity's a little funky on the Kuiper belt. It's... Yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. It's not the same as it is here on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is cool so far. So, um, so you're self-producing this. You're gonna you're running a Kickstarter. Yeah. Have you? Are you nervous about that? How? What are you? What are your thought? Have you done your homework on what it takes to run a successful Kickstarter campaign? Um. Yeah, uh, I've also we've also partnered with um, with Max Robbins from Dragon Egg Games. Um, he is just a, like a small self like one man show, um, but he's he's published uh, three games through Kickstarter now, okay. uh, with pretty with with like moderate success. Like he's he's had three successful Kickstarters, um, and uh, so he's kind of got the formula down. And because we're so green at all of this. Um, sure. Yeah, we ended up partnering with him, and he's kind of guiding us through the process uh, using some of his connections and and experience to kind of help us through. So, um, yeah, it's uh, not overly nervous, but based based on a lot of the conversation I've had with him, um, I feel somewhat confident. It's just a matter of doing the work. Awesome. Yeah, that is very that's very cool. I got to tell right? you, yes, yes, your turn. I played a word. How do you here. flip? E or W? <clears throat> is that what you want? Yeah. I don't want to give you this, and I'm mad about it. I'm not even gonna do anything with it. Don't worry. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna ignore it. I'm. Not, you um, know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let you play a worker there. That's how happy I'm with you doing that. I get another Ooh. action. Okay. Ooh. Playing your last card. That's a good no. idea. Do it, babe. Play that shit. Well, I don't want to yet. I would. Well, the problem is, uh, I have a question about it. Mm -hmm. About yeah, about the card in your I'll hand. Just, yeah, I'll just tell you. So basically, it says I can discard a red card from my staging area, but I can't be this red card, right? Uh, yeah, sure, it can. Oh, well, why not? In that case, what is this? That's a wild thing. That's pretty sweet. Where do I want to put you? What's on the bottom of you? Sorry, I'm not very good at TTS. I'm like constantly like you're moving. No, you're, you're doing pretty good, I think. You're doing pretty good. I'm like, I can't see the bottom. Uh, okay. I guess a little. A lot of people hate playing on TTS. I like it, but. Well, oh, I'm you can also discard. on like the tiniest laptop ever, so it doesn't help. <laughs> so you're going to discard this card to immediately get two Kyperion? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can, and it's also a you may, so you don't have to discard it. But that's... I'm a, I'll do it. Natalie, is it ever going to be my turn again? Brian, can I go now? Yes. Okay. I'll go now. All right, let's <laughs> let's go here. Um, mm. And this says, if an opponent has no workers in play, you may play a worker. Ooh. So I will take advantage. And oops! Ah, oh, shit! Oh crap! I didn't mean to go there. Darn it! Sorry, I can't take it away though. He promised he could, he wouldn't, but it was an accident. So, so it, rats. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't mean to. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna discard my hand of zero and draw back up to four. Hmm. Very economical. Thank you. Okay. Um, Your turn again. Look how fast that thanks. one was. That was pretty good. <laughs> Each other. Hmm. Darn, 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 darn. Well, crap, boobs, crap. It's one you kind of want to build towards. Yeah. Um. Now, can I ask you a question, um, Matt, about this card here? <laughs> Is that a mandatory? It doesn't say you may, so do I have to do it? The top portion? Uh, if you if it doesn't say may and um, yeah, if it doesn't say may, then you have to do as much of it as you can. Okay, so I would have to to do those first three words. Yes, I got gotcha. you. Okay, thanks, thanks. 
Um, well, shit. I pass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, based on the bottom of that card, it's not the worst thing. Yeah, but isn't it just doing the same? Isn't it just almost yeah. the exact same thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you're definitely not maximizing it. Right. Sure. Yeah, I want it. A big part of this game is to try to maximize the potential of each card that you play. For sure. Because a lot of them are situational. Well, you know what? Screw it. This is not this is uneconomical, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to play this. I'm going to play this right here. Look, I'm helping both of us, Natalie. Aren't you excited <laughs> about that? We're both helped here. You're welcome. So I'm going to get an entire Kyperium from this. Because <laughs> I have one other red card in my staging area. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We're having fun. Um, okay, so... Matt, I want to tell you I like this so far. Cool. I'm glad. I, you know what I like about it right away, if I can just tell you, like, initial thoughts from the very beginning? For sure. It's easy to understand. Um, I love the I love the system, the synergy system. I love that. My, my initial favorite thing when I heard about it was placing workers on your opponent's cards, which is just genius. But this synergy system, I might be having more fun with it because it's like, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the system in Underwater Cities where when you're playing the worker or mm. the card with your worker, you want to play the same color. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And so a lot of times I'm like, I don't want to play this card, even though it's freaking awesome because the color doesn't match. And so I, I only get to do one of the two things I want to do. <laughs> and that drives me crazy. There's cards in this game so far. I'm like, I want to play this card, but it's like it doesn't match with anything. So playing it is stupid and I don't want to play it anymore. Yeah, especially, oh. if the, especially if the icons are really strong on it, then you're like. Right. Even more than that. It's like, I don't want to play this card. I want the action, but it doesn't have the right, you know, synergy colors. And I'm giving that other, or, you know, the other player a sweet thing. Yep. I did the dumbest thing, by the way. I was so stupid. I, it's your I turn, just noticed. I know. I just noticed it now. My dumb play last turn, but that's fine. Man, was that dumb? Okay. Um. Now I'm gonna play. Yikes. Yikes. Is that? That's blue. Oh, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this kind of accomplishes what I want to. Just, man, I'm so dumb. I played it in the wrong order. Um. Okay, well, let's just dump it down here. I guess. Although that's... No, I don't want to do that. Where am I going to dump this? i got to take a dump somewhere. Oh where gosh. should I... Where should I dump? Let's dump right here. Fuck it. Okay, this says, remove a worker, yours or your opponent's. Sorry, hon. I love you. Then, if your opponent is further up the track, oh look, you're a little further up the track. <laughs> I can, I can play a worker, so Ooh, I will play a worker. Good for you. Um, yes. this one is. Uh, I mean, do I want to go here? Do I want to go here? I don't know what to do. Mm, let's go here. Okay. Your turn, lava. You're gonna go back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull my workers off. Because why not? Okay, so this one is going to give me three mm -hmm. Kyperium. Because I have all three of my workers out. The first efficient thing I've done this game. This gives me two points and removes. Is that remove a Kyperium? Yeah, destroy a opponent's Kyperium. So I destroy one of yours, Natalie. So one of your Kyperium is gone. And I get two points. Could I use that here? Or does it have to be? Yeah, it's in one a instance. So, yeah, you can you can go there, yeah. Okay, even though they're one icon each, I don't have to resolve one icon and then another no, icon. No, you just resolve one card at a time. Or Understood. One, one Understood. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I suppose I'll do that so I can get two more Kyperion. And then, last but not least, I'm going to take this terrible thing and do... Natalie, you're not going to be excited about this move. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just going scoring this card you put it right on this card i wanted to score you're wasting all my turns i know i'm so sorry okay so that's two synergy so then i go here is that sure. right yeah i am i am sorry but that's the best option well actually i could have done another one do you want me to go back hun i'll do a different no, card no, i could because don't. i got two synergies up here too don't. i'll do that okay no sorry 
to whatever you okay. want to do. Don't forget to pay your Kyperium. Oh, right. For Kyperium. Yeah, thank get you. Get rid of that. No. Yes, thank you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm watching this guy. I'm watching. Yes. Damn it, he caught me. Collecting Kyperium like crazy. All my okay, cards and then you can flip your yellow yes. affinity bonus. Oh, which now, from now on, every time you play a yellow card, you may also play a worker. Boom. Oh, Look at all these yellow cards card. I got, too. Great card. Great card. Got... Great card. <laughs> great card. Right. Great card. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to score this one. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. I'm just joking. You're so mean. After that, I like to say that I'm just joking. <laughs> so, Matt, this is okay? Yeah, Being it's alone fine. at an island yeah. like that? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm it's going to space. draw four cards. There. Yeah, right. Exactly. In the nothingness of... Wait, is that in my hand or do you see that, Natalie? Yes, it, you're good. I can't even it see is? Okay. it. Is? Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I'm like zoomed in. You can barely see her own cards. I know. I can't, basically, I can only see my side of the board for the most part. Well, you know, when you alt over a card, Natalie, if you roll your mouse wheel up, it'll zoom in that alted, that magnified card. I know. Okay. You know, okay this laptop is this tiny. I know. Thing. It's very small. I know. So uh, we bought this laptop, Matt. This, this brand new laptop because my the laptop we recorded the show on died because of all the porn that Natalie downloaded on it. Yeah, yeah. And so it like died. And so I bought this new little laptop. Um, and we recorded an episode on it, and the audio was absolute garbage. And I could not figure out why. And so I was like, it just, it's a lemon. It's a fucking lemon. I can't do it. So I'd have to, we were recording the show on my work computer for a while. And finally, I was like, I should probably not record the show on my work computer. So I bought another laptop. And the same fucking audio issues were happening on this other, this brand new laptop. And I'm like, what the Sounds hell is going like on? Sounds like user error to me. Well, it turns <laughs> out, and Windows 11 which com came preloaded on these both of these new computers there's this audio setting called enhanced audio that it turned that's it's it's defaulted on with um on recording devices and so that's what gives that underwater sound destroy two of your Kyperium. and so now we have like an extra laptop what are you doing you're destroying two of my Kyperium? yeah okay let's actually destroy them ah, destroy. <laughs> all right so is it my go yeah. Okay. Look at this structure we're creating. This is how beautiful. Natalie was being stingy at first, but now she's just like, you may have oh, a she, She's going to go for the jugular. That's what she does. Um, well, I feel like all the cards I have are like super good for you. In my hands. That means, like, that, means this, so. that means they're good for you yeah. too, though. They're balanced that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, usually the abilities are really strong, or there's like, like th this card has four corners. This card has four corners. Yeah, it's not that common in the game. Okay, so I'm gonna play this. Uh, it says destroy one opponent's Kyperium, but if you control at least three KP bots, one, two, three, destroy two instead. Ooh, snap! Uh, I it, I just again I played yeah. a card at random. Wait to punch you later. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> God. <laughs> so I have to destroy two? You're yeah. ruining all yeah. my. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. She did this before, Matt, where she like hits me in the arm, and I'm like, "Oh, thank you." She's like, "You like everything, you freak." <laughs> I can't punish you. <laughs> Why don't you have any cards to give me more than one Kyperion? What's wrong with you? Look at all mine. Give you like well, yeah, sweet ass stuff. All you gotta do is just yeah, you're giving me a lot of sweet ass stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, so now might be a good time for you guys to kind of take a peek at your secret cards. Okay. Okay, because we're getting There's close your, to the yeah, thing. and now you kind of know how the the flow of the game works and how things okay. go. So, uh, oh, that's they'll, pro cool. they'll probably make more sense to you. Oh, yeah, they're they're really powerful. And, and do when do we get to use these? As soon as you land on this red planet, this you red pick three, you pick one, or you get to use pick one and you activate it immediately. Okay, the other the others just go away. It's a one time thing. Okay, so you get one for the oh. game, and then the other two are gone. I got it. Yeah. Oh, I like <clears> that because. You don't know what situation you're going to be in at that at that moment. And yeah, so you, so you have a little flexibility. Of, you can kind of build towards the one you prefer, or yeah. Wow. Okay, these are good. Yeah, they are. Okay. Cool. Okay. All right, it's my turn. What do I do? Yes, ma'am. My plans. I'm sorry. I am sorry. The re the main reason I did that was it gives me some sweet sweet synergies. Plus, you, I gave you a synergy too with this guy. Look how okay. sweet I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, what do I want to do with you? What do you think of this so far, Natalie? Be careful, the designer's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think it's really good. Yeah? Yeah, me too. It's like, it's, it's just like the tough decisions. And you're totally right when you, you said you try to make a game that's easy to explain. Like, it was easy to explain and it was quick and it all made sense. But the decisions are tough. So it's like not easy to play. <laughs> You know, Your microphone do. is doing some weird, weird stuff. It's Natalie. it's too enhanced. It, it is. You're the audio. It's just crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, but you're coming through very robotic and very speedily. Mm. I mean, it's what, what are we going to do? Every time yes, time. I know. StreamYard always does this. This is the best way to do it if you're going to have multicam is the only problem. Uh, is it my turn, Natalie? Are you Have you done anything? No. You, no. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I know I ruined all your stuff. You asked her a question while she. I thought, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, Joe says I thought it was just my end. <laughs> no, the audio is yeah. The audio when for some reason whenever we do Streamyard, Natalie has audio issues. When we go through Discord to do audio, it's perfectly fine. Hmm. Uh, Joe, what do you think about this so far? Have you enjoyed what you've been what you've been seeing? Uh, maybe someday soon, you and I could play a game of this on uh, TTS together. That'd be really fun. I'd be very into that. Okay. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll just do. Is this Matt? Is this your vision for how you want the final game to look like when uh, it's completed? Are you planning on having like player aids, one for each person, kind of thing? Is this going to be attached to the to the board? Is it going to be a board? Is it going to be a player mat, neoprene kind of style? Like, what is your vision here for the? Yeah, so um, we built it similar to the final product. <laughs> Um, okay. So the play mat is going to be very similar to what you see there, um, and it it has a player aid on it. Um, oh the, yeah, I see. Right for okay. the uh, for the uh, iconography, and then um, the graphic design is not done, but we will also have the actual actions that you can take on the on the player board as well. Okay. Um, so that you know. 95% of the rules are just like right there in front of you. Um, and the so this this board here, that's just going to be your table when you play. Um, there, there's not going to be a play mat or a board for the for where the cards go. Okay. There's going to be this, this starter board, which is going to be a, a board, like a cardboard board, like a standard. Sure. Yeah. And then um, this piece, this piece, and this piece will also be boards that uh, will fold out. And the idea is that um, the size of these boards, once they're put together exactly like this, create the perfect size play area that oh, you're allowed to play. Oh, that's cool. So it'll be three cards deep and uh, eight cards across. Nice. Um, basically, when you use this, like these three mats and put them together. Very cool. I like this. Uh, Joe says, seems very interesting. Yes, and he's always down to play on... Uh... TTS, awesome. And Natalie, he said she sounded like she's on fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Is it my turn, Natalie? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, Natalie, okay. maybe just speak really slowly, and then uh, that'll solve the problems. <laughs> yeah. So, I think I'm going to play this. Brian. So, can, can you? Oh, right. Shit. Not sure where. Shit. Yeah, I didn't quite see where All you grabbed the that shit. from. No, you're totally right. I played it from my hand. That was that was a mistake. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, darn it. I don't want to. I want to do this, but I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of my wife a, a little bit. <laughs> uh, the game is. Uh, the game can be a little uh, bit mean. I love it's you. The game, it's the game's fault, Natalie. It's the game's fault. Yeah, I. I'm. Look at how much I'm helping us, though. Look, I, I slotted this, and look what that does for us. Wow. Look at all those synergies. Uh, no, unfortunately, you didn't destroy all unfortunately, I, d Are you serious? I know I just, just, well, it's the same card I just played. Oh, is there a rule against that, Matt? Uh, no, there's not. No. Okay. Okay. I am sorry about that. It's, I sincerely am. It just, look, look, how, look at the synergies for us. Yes. Well, it doesn't help me when you destroy all my stuff. Us. <laughs> it's totally going to help us. I am sorry about that. And I do love you. It's a good worker placement spot, though. You can destroy That's, all my stuff back. Where's the balance? With workers. Like, you could keep him off Kyperium for the rest of the game. Yeah, right. If you, Natalie. Better girl. What? 
<laughs> That's not cool. You should have played it right here. Um, I'm just kidding. No reason. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, okay. Your turn. I'm to recall my work. Uh, yes! Damn! <laughs> I thought maybe you'd wait and put another one out there. No. There goes my Kyperion, you jerk. Wait, wait, right. how many did did you get rid of just two? Two, yeah. Oh, okay, I put all four yeah. back in. Okay. Yeah, just two. I see. I see. She has a times two multiplier though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh we have a question here from Joe, board to play. I don't know if you can see that map, but it says, Have you designed any other games? Um I'm currently designing another game. Um, we just started working on it, uh, my partner again, Steve Castle, um, and we have a third designer on for this game, and it is another twist on worker placement game, um, with love, the theme, yeah, with the theme of Prohibition era gangsters. Oh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like that. That's very cool. All righty. Well, I like that face. That it's so funny, Natalie, because you have like the your background is just complete darkness. You look like you're in the abyss, and then you, you get, just have, you have this... like the perfect setup, and I got like the crap audio. You're so your voice is so you got the perfect setup. I'm in the back. It's so funny your microphone. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, what you gonna do, girl, with all that junk? <laughs> oh man, good stuff. What am I gonna do? You're gonna kill my last two Kyperium, aren't you? Recall that one wanker. Joe says, like the sound of that. I'm a sucker for worker placement, though. Agreed. Aren't we all? I feel like we all are. Worker placement is just so satisfying. I know. I love, yeah, worker placement games are absolutely great. And I love playing new spins on them. This is a great new take on that. Um, okay. You're I'm further up the track than me, though, so. This card. Okay. Nice move. So then I get this back. Okay, very good. Um, well, I'm just gonna play it here. <laughs> oh, you played one with three out also. <laughs> I know. All I have are like right. amazing ones. <laughs> That's um, why, like, getting these flipped over, it becomes so powerful. Because, like, yeah. hypothetically, yeah. you had the green one down. I'm trying. You could have played it. And then also I'm play sorry. the worker on these guys, right? I don't mean to get rid of your Kyperium. I just I just want you to love me. You guys are married, right? His Kyperium is your Kyperium? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, take it. I only have... Well, we have the same. We have the same amount. I'm fired up. You're fired <laughs> you have, up. Yeah. Like, you're set up to be like six. Nah. I'm going to choose the option of only taking two. <laughs> well, Playing a wanka. I don't Just play a sweet, sweet wanka. I'm going to pull my workers off. Mm -hmm. Let's get six soul Kyperium. Two, four, six. And then uh, let's play a card, I think. We shall. What about this guy? How's this guy looking? He's going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six. You got it. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. That's a big one. So Worst. one, two, three, four, five, six. And I can flip one of these guys. Oh, well, first of all, I got to get rid of four of these. Mm -hmm. So I can flip one of these, yeah? Yep. All right. 
I will do this one. I discard two cards from hand. I spend three Kyperium. And I get five points. Is that right? Am I reading that yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. So one. And then I get to... Ooh. What do I want to do? What does this one do? Moves in a moves a worker. Moves a worker. Okay. Um. So that's probably not great. I'll probably get some cards. I mean, I could get some of Natalie's Kyperium away. She's been doing it to me all game. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, um, either way, I can't go up to the three. I have to stop at the one. That's right. Yeah. So, all right. So I'll just pick. Hmm. I'll get cards. Let's get cards. Let's not. Let's not go crazy and make my <laughs> wife hate everything. Okay. So that was a that was a fun turn. That was a good turn. Yeah. What was it? The turn where you get the, <laughs> the red planet's always always massive. Yeah, that was a really good tile. I feel like too. Man, just getting five points like that—that that was pretty great. That was that was a cool. That felt cool. You know what I mean? It's one of those satisfying moments. Mm-hmm. Uh, um. That was a good combo. I don't know what to do. Yeah, and one you have to set up. Like you have to have the cards. You have to have the right. Ethereum. Yep, I was worried when she was getting rid of all my cards. I'm like, uh oh, I might not have enough to do this. But then I got the last three, so it worked out. Yep, yep, yep. That's a good combo. Combo number five. And then, yeah, I went up six with this. Or wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I went up six with you that. get a red? What's that? What color? Oh, right, you? right, right, right. It was red. You're right. Okay, so yeah. I flipped the red over. Okay, cool. Yes, thank you for the reminder. Uh, that I'm forgetting about these these mm -hmm. tiles here. And now you'll start to see the power of those. Of those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like so I like that. So you also have like a little engine builder mm -hmm. stuff going on here too with those. Yeah, a little bit of engine building. Yeah, to go along with the other stuff. Yeah. But it's not like the meat of the game, you know. It's almost like an ancillary thing. So I kind of, mm -hmm. I think that's cool. I think that's cool. So both players discard a card from their hand, and if you, <laughs> the opponent is further up the track, draw two cards. What? <laughs> Do not have cards. No, you, 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 it's, saw, you sound like a fucking auctioneer. You know, you sound like you sound like the micro machines <laughs> guy. <laughs> Which is fine. Like these are these are robots. These I'm red bidding. cards. You just sound yeah. like. A robot. That's fine. Both players discard a card from hand. Then if the opponent is further up... Oh, so you get to draw two cards. We both have to discard a card, and then you draw two. Okay. 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 So that's your turn, yeah? yeah. <laughs> you don't want to no. answer. <laughs> I know what you're saying, so please start explaining. Don't tell them because it hurts. Okay, what do I do here? No, that's stupid. Hmm. Man, you got these workers here ready to just destroy all my Kyperium that I worked so hard for. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. So back to y'all. How is this going so far, Matt, do you think? For good. Us? Yeah, I yeah. think that's good. Okay. Yeah, and I think as soon as she gets her next complete and activates one of her cards, she'll be right on your tail. Cool. I think. Catch up and beat me, lady. <laughs> or else I'm sleeping on the couch again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... so uh, um, hold on, let me just take a sec. Yep. Yeah, I can see the bottlenecking happen up around these areas. Mm -hmm. Man, getting three is tough. 
Not only that, getting four, and then when you're at four, getting five? Holy cow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It definitely bottlenecks at the end and gives uh, your opponent. If you have a big lead, it gives your opponent a little bit of a chance to catch up. But but then they have to jump over those same hurdles, yeah. Hurdles, yeah, for sure. Uh, Board to Play is asking when it's coming to Kickstarter. Um, our target right now is fall. Um, fall is not... Um, Fall is not a great time, uh, or a late fall, I should say, getting into winter is not a great time to launch Kickstarter. So if we don't hit that deadline, it might just be like um, like after Christmas type of thing, and like Got after it. the new year. But yeah, the target right now is is uh, fall. But if you um, if you go to whitewatercastle.com slash Kyperium, um, which should be just a little bit higher on the chat there. Um, you can sign up for our email list, and we'll keep you guys posted as, uh, on our progress and when the launch when the launch will happen. Very cool. Oh, you're gonna move my worker? That's not cool. <clears throat> Come on, guy. Darn. Babe. I thought we were besties. Okay. Uh, thanks for that. Look what you did, you little jerk. Oh, and then I played a yellow. because gray is yellow, Oh, right? so you get to... Yeah, yeah, so you get to place a worker. Ooh, that's nice. That's good. Good job. Um, mm, that's okay. fun. Okay, so I will do this. And it's the exact same one. I get to move one of mine. And then because I did that, I get to move one of yours. And then, right? Mm -hmm. hey, I just and then because it was a yellow, I get to do another one. Can I remind you about something? Me? Yeah. Yeah. I got rear-ended today. So you might want to stop. You want me to stop digitally rear-ending you as well? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> She's getting, yeah. she's getting double whiplash today. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry. You did the same shit to me. I am sorry. <sighs> oh, no. Very cool, Joe. Sounds good, he says. You have a backer in me. Randy awesome. Newman said it. So I, I'm very excited to see the final That's product. I would love to help cool. you out support you in any way because this is really this is really cool uh, i really appreciate you taking the time to to teach us this is very yeah, this for is very sure fun. i appreciate you guys playing it it's uh that's all you want as a designer as you know it's just you want just want 100%. people to play your game yeah absolutely yeah no it's very very cool um it seems very complete you know yeah if we feel like we're almost there yeah for sure yeah that's very cool um so how did you move what did you do you played a card to let you move it no i just moved it oh you can just move Wait. it that's just an action oh, can, oh maybe you can't do that no no i think it's you just place can. it's just place yeah, yeah. Ryan. <laughs> what <laughs> i mean it's the rule it's the rule lady friend i'm <laughs> sorry all i'm trying nice to button. do is move up this track and you just like can't let me we might not be we might not be backing this one. <laughs> <laughs> we might not be back <laughs> Well Natalie feels and, and I agree that this is probably not the best game for us. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. I'm not trying to completely ruin you. I'm just trying to win myself. Taking back the wankas, so I got to get rid of my one and only Kyperium, okay? And you get one, two, three, and a card. Card or a lab, yeah. All right, and it's your turn again. What did you do? What did you do, Ryan? Oh, I placed a worker. Okay.
So you made the yellow cards gray. Um, yeah. Pretty much all okay. the other ones are the same. Yeah, the 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 green went to like a teal. Yeah. Is there a reason that you did that? Was it? Um... It's for colorblind friendliness. Yeah. Oh right, colorblind friendly. Right. Okay, yeah. that's right. Very cool. Yeah, they just okay. haven't updated these tokens yet. I see. Everything yeah, is always cool. a work in progress. So. What are you thinking about for as far as the Kyperium? Um, are those going to be wooden tokens, do you think? Or are they going to be like the gems you find in something like Ascension? Um, we are just at the point now where we're looking at pricing things out. Okay. Uh, move a card from your opponent's staging area to a new location. So which which one of his cards is like the most synergy? Yeah, she's moving that the one the one I was gonna I was gonna synergize with. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so I think like the default is obviously just to go with like cardboard tokens. Yeah. Um, but depending on price and like it might even be like uh, stretch goals where they get upgraded to like um, acrylic uh, or upgraded to like uh, I haven't played Ascension, but like if you've played okay. Everdell, um, yep. the like resin. Yep. Um, that kind of thing but obviously very cool with the color um so right yeah we'll see that's awesome okay i am going to draw four cards so back to you you big jerk i can't believe you did something against me i've only been helping you this whole time <laughs> it keeps giving you all the synergy at the top yeah you're just not using it <laughs> Even though you have a thousand workers. What are you doing? I'm just trying to like. Oh, playing a see more playing a wanker before I do yeah. something. <laughs> before you do something, yeah, I hear you. I'm going to give you another pretty sweet card, too. You're going to be excited about it. Let me make sure I'm allowed to play it. Yeah, this one. Gain a Kyperium with this card with a player from the Secret Lab, but it wasn't... Or or if it was played. So I gain a Kyperium. Okay. Look at that sweet worker placement spot I just gave you. It's so... It's got three different things on it. Can you even believe it? Um, did you do the thing? What? Yeah, I just got a cup here, that's all. Oh, okay. It wasn't in your seat. Yeah. Your lap. No. Yeah, no. I just played it from my hand. All right. I'm going to take back my workers. So I'm going to get six Kyperium again. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this one is going to play this card. She hasn't seen it yet. Actually, let me figure out the synergy first. Oh boy. So the synergy first is one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right, Matt? Uh, two in this corner and two in this corner. Oh, this is black. This is black okay, so four, right. right, so four, okay, four. So three, four, sorry about this, honey. And this goes here. And, okay, I forgot. Oh, no, no. Right, and then four Kyperium. Okay, I'm like, what else do I have to do? There's more cleanup to do. Okay, got it. All right, your turn. Maybe not want to play. Oh, boy. Hey, workers. Well, I, I, I thought you kind of could tell I was going to take that card out the very next turn. Because I, I had the workers set up to score a card. But the only card I could have scored that was going to get me to that three was the one you moved. Mm -hmm. So I played one that then gave me enough to get by it. Yeah, as you play the game more, you'll, you, you start to like 
See keep patterns keep and stuff. track of your opponent's synergistic cards. Yeah. Because they're the most likely cards to get taken out from under right. you. You yeah. want to be careful about playing your workers yeah. there. That makes sense. Sure. Very cool. Unless they're not in a position to complete with you know with Kyperium, then then you're right. safe for a bit. Right. So those are the little things to that you that you that you figure out as you play. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's very cool. Um Okay. Hmm. Well, I think I'm just gonna do this. Natalie. So you just destroy one Kyperium, that's all. Just one little Kyperium. No big deal. Which card was played? Uh, this guy. I it's could play guy. that, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Get those points. Um, okay. Well. Here we go. All right. Take it away. Let's see if I remember how to do this, Ryan. Well, that gives you one point. Oh, yeah, so, so you want to do that one a lot. Do that first, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so you... this. Oh, you could also okay. move. Looks, is that the move a worker symbol, Matt? Yeah. Okay. One. She can move any worker, hers or yours. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're going to move mine. Wow. I thought you'd move yours to a better spot than this one, maybe. Like this one. Well. Mess with oh, me, I guess. Do well, doesn't matter. How about I put you over there and then I'll put me over here? <laughs> it's or, not and. <laughs> I don't remember where it was. It here. was here. Yeah. Okay, then I get it. Wait. Did you then get a card? Do, wait. Then I'll do this, this one. Right. Well, did you get a card from this one? Yes. Okay, okay. So nice. then I was going to do this one. Oh, one, darn. Yes. Two. Three, no. One, two, three, four. Is that right? Four. I think that, that's what I count. Yeah, I count four. Okay. Nice. So then that's like this here. Uh, the, yep. And then you get your red tile. Uh, right. blue. And then this goes or away. Whatever these tiles yeah. are called. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Right. Yep, that goes away. Goes away yep, right. Good. Yep. Ooh, that was my cash cow card. <laughs> you finally got rid of it. It was helping me with synergies, and, then, and it was giving me three Kyperium. <laughs> yeah. It was like it was so good. And then you get another point. And that's that balance that we talk about, nope, right? No, that's me. Where? Yeah. No. That's Being very careful cool. about what you're playing. Uh, yeah. Kyperium. Okay, and then I get one of these. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, what you gonna get? My cards. <laughs> what? They're tiles, not cards, so I can look at them. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, yeah, there's some good stuff in there. Very cool. I'm going to do this one. This guy? Please. Discard to three cards and then gain three Kyperium for each card discarded. Oh, cool. Wow. Okay. That could be potentially nine Kyperium for you. That's nice. I like it. Mm. Hmm. One. Wait, isn't it from your hand? Or is it, is it from the staging area? From, from staging the board, area. yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. One. Oh, my other cash cow. That was yeah. my cash cow. <laughs> <laughs> what will I do? Ugh, it's hard for me to get rid of that one. It's got some wilds. Oh man, I don't want to hurt myself. Oh. Yeah. Maybe those I mean, you don't have to get rid of three. It's a, it's a. You may. can do two for six, or you can do yeah, yeah. three for nine. Do you find that the experience, Matt, is a lot greater IRL, or do you find it's pretty similar on 
playing online on TTS? It's, it's hard for me to say because I designed the entire game in TTS. Oh, I see. So you like, haven't played it physically yet, then? I have. Like I've, I've, um, yeah, I've printed it uh, just with paper and then like uh, with sleeves, um, just to okay. be able to play it in real life um, from time to time with some friends sure. and whatnot. Um, it's probably a little bit better in person, um, but that's coming from like somebody who's got a ton of playtime on TTS. So I'm really, really comfortable on TTS. Gotcha. But definitely for most people, it's better. It's better in real life for sure. Very cool. Like I've played, I, it's like Star Wars Destiny. I, yeah. I played like a million hours of TTS. Yeah. Same here. I love it on TTS. I think it's, I think it's still great on TTS. But I do like it better in person. Mm. Better half reviews. How is it going, Allison? Howdy, people. We are having a great time playing Kyperium with Matt Cousineau. He is teaching me and Natalie how to play this game, and we are uh, going after each other's throats here. Not typically something the, her and I love in games, but this doesn't feel quite so. In a game like, in a two-player card game like this or Star Wars Destiny that we, we just can't stop talking about, um, the take that kind of stuff is almost... It's so baked into the actual core of the game that it doesn't feel as mean to me as other games that have take that, other board games that have take that. You know, like when you're spending your turn, like you're building something in, the, in like a Euro game or something, and if somebody can come in and just like, I'm going to destroy all of those, like that kind of sucks. But this game is like, that's what you're doing. I'm doing that to you. You're doing that to me back and forth until and we jockey until somebody finally gets there. And That's so right. I yeah. don't hate it as much for that. One thing I find take that um, just becomes softer in general in a two player game because there's no like, you know, we're all targeting this person or why did you target me instead of them? Right. Um, you know, because if somebody goes after me in a three or four player game, there's always the like, well, you could have done it to them. Yeah, I was uh, losing. Why did me? you attack me? Right. But in a two player game, it's just what it is. Right, uh, so it feels more naturalistic. So, opinion. Allison, this game and the, the heart of this game is it's a two player card game. We're playing games to our tableau to 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 basically get us stuff to score points to win the game up this track. But every time you play a card in front of you, it gives your opponent a worker placement spot to go. So you have to balance what is this card going to do for me versus what is it going to give to my opponent, and that's a really really interesting sort of mechanism where i see natalie's playing these guys on my side and i'm i have this visceral feeling of like i don't like that get the hell out of here like get this <laughs> get this out of here this stupid ass thing you know and so it's really I, I really it's a really interesting um it's a really interesting mechanism i really like that um okay what do i want to do Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. I think I am going to discard my hand and draw four new cards. That's a little better. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Most. Okay, I like that. So that I can. Which card did you play? This one. Okay, cool. Move an opponent's worker onto this card if able. Yeah, of ah! course you don't have any, but. Ah! Sucker! <laughs> it's a yellow one, so I can. That's why I knew I had out. to get. The, I had to remove this one immediately. I'm like, she's gonna, she's gonna go after me here. With I gotta get that off. That's the last time I can play that card, though. Yeah. For now. Um, so let me ask you this, Matt. Say that she had another copy of this card in play. Yeah. So that's why the that's why the the, the wording says uh, fully resolve one worker at a time. Okay. Okay. Cool. So because that w so I'd fully resolve this worker. Two doesn't get me there. Then I'd fully resolve this worker. Two also doesn't get me there. I wouldn't be able to. Correct. Move. Yeah. Got it. So you the and and I can understand that would probably be the direction you want the game to go is you want the majority of your points to come from the synergies, not from these right. random one offs. That's okay. right. Okay. Interesting. Very, very cool. Um, 
Now, this card says, I'm just going to tell you, this card says, play a worker, recall a different worker. Is that different worker one of my workers? Yes. Okay. Okay. But this card, because of this... Let's, Let's me put a worker out, play. and then I could I could recall it after that. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, got it. Okay. How do I make this work? Recall a different one. Hmm. But when you play, so another thing about this, Allison, is when you play a worker onto something, you don't get the thing yet. It's more like, um, what is it, the Manhattan Project, where you only get the stuff when you take the stuff back. Yeah. Or I guess, what is Zulkin's like that as well? Right. Oh, crap. Natalie, what do I want to do here, little lady? Although, Matt, it does say play a worker and then recall a different worker. Correct. So, so I wouldn't be you, able to... Well, if you play this card, you get a free worker. So right. you just play out your free worker, and then you activate... Oh, and then I the get card. to play another... Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Oh, okay. That's kind of nice. Okay, well, I'll do that then. So I by doing this, I activate this, which lets me place a worker. Correct. Okay. So that one I will place here, and then, and then now the I get to says, now I get to place a worker, and then activate another worker. Recall okay. a different one, yeah, or recall a different one. So Natalie, I just rid of one, which isn't that bad, and gives me two. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay. Okay, I'm recalling mine. Nice, I like it. So I'm gonna do this. One, two, three, two, four. <laughs> okay. So your voice is back to normal. Yeah, it is. is you it? may you may speak again. <laughs> I know. I feel like I'm yeah. like trying to talk so quiet. So no, I'm you sound like perfect now. Everybody. Now it sounds it sounds perfect now. Uh, Allison says, interesting. I've only played a few games so, like that where you get it when the worker's taken off. Yeah, it's not typical. Mm -hmm. Typical when you play a worker placement, you usually get the thing right away, or there's like an at the end of the round, we all get our stuff. But this game is, there's not a few, there's not a ton of games out like this, but the ones that are do it really well. And this one is no exception to that. She says, is this an upcoming game? Yes, Matt is hoping that this game is going to be uh, hitting Kickstarter at some point this fall. Um, you know, hoping. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. He might, you know, you never know what can happen. Um, but that is the plan. So, Matt, is yeah, it, and, am I um, correct that this is seven? Uh, Holy cow. Seven so sounds one. huge. Which one here? Yeah. This card? Yeah. So one, two, three, no, hang four. On. Oh, sorry. So the blacks don't do anything. Oh, but right. I blues? always forget about the blacks. No, no, because the blues aren't touching this card. I, that happened to me earlier, too. Oh, I, I, stup okay. I stupidly got confused with that. Right, right, right. So you've got, really you've got, two, in this, you've got two in this corner, and you've got one, either green or red, in this corner. Oh, you only get to pick one. That's right, yeah. So yeah, because you the don't wilds, get the, the card. I yeah. see. Okay, yeah, so, so you probably have better oh, options. Three? You probably have better options. So you but have to pick... Card, for example, so you, Matt, you have to you have to assign what color your wild is when you're synerg when you're playing it. You yeah, have to assign exactly. what synergy. Okay, so yeah, this yeah. one awesome. would be five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Exactly. Yeah, this okay. one's five. I'll do that one. Then. Allison wishes you the best of luck, Matt. Thanks, Allison. So, if you want to yeah. follow along, there's a Kepern Facebook page, um, and if you scroll up in the chat a little bit, I, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in here again. Yeah, sure. So it's in here right now. Yep. So there's also a, a link to the website. Yeah, and you can you can just put Allison. your email into the website, and um, um, and uh, you'll get you'll be on the mailing list. Wait, I was here. Wait, yeah, so five was, from there. Was I here? Or was I here? Um, uh, you were here. You I were think here. Yeah, I was there. Here. Yeah. Yep. Okay, wait. Can I pretend like I did so, this one first? Yeah, I think it would work out to the same because either way you have. It would. Okay. Two, three. So you're gonna be here. Just like I was. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
whatever. I'll still get a Hyperion for this. Unless. Um, what? Uh, no, that doesn't work. Disregard. Hyperion and a card. And I get to move his worker. Yeah. And or, you could also, have, or you could have done this one first and then moved your own, but. I, I, uh, yeah, I but wanted to destroy the... two of your yeah. Kyperium, right? You wanted to, but you didn't? No, I'm gonna do it. All right. And then this will go here. And a okay. girl. All right. What, what's that? I said add a girl. He said, he said, oh, okay. Job, I like, I I'm, ro I'm rooting he for said, you. <laughs> he said, you, he said you did something Thank wrong. You. Take it back, please. <laughs> Okay, okay. Is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. Um, very cool. Uh, let's see. Let's do... Let's see. Let's see. Let's do this. I liked it better when you had cards out there that let me get three at the same time. I'm sure you did. Can I think you, you learned those, your lesson from that. Can you put those back, please? It was like all I had in my hand. Like, I'm like, oh, I want to play this. And I'm like, it's so freaking good for him. <laughs> yeah. Like at one point you had no, so, no So instead of just playing the one, you played three of them, is what you're saying. I know. I was like, well, gotta <laughs> yeah. get rid of them. I, I used them like Maybe three turns in a row. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to keep using, I'm just going to keep utilizing this until you mess with it. <laughs> Okay, so you played some stiff. I just put a worker out. Um, how about this? So I get to look at your... Do you not have any cards? I have a card. I have three cards. Oh, uh, where are they? Oh, they're, mm. they're in my hand, girlfriend. Yes, figure this out. Okay. Great timing for that card. So, what are you doing to him? What are you doing to me? Oh, I'm making you play one. Okay. As your turn, yeah. Oh, and that's my turn. Okay. Which one do you want me to play, lady well, I'm friend? I'm looking at him. <laughs> we'll finish it up. We got a lot of sex to have, and it's almost, it's already 10.30. Oh, that's not happening. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I, take, Matt, I take partial responsibility for that. <laughs> Matt, Joe, when you come back and destroy me, you're going to be giving me pity sex. So, uh, Board to Play says, what is the average play time looking like for Kyperion? Yeah, once, you, once, once both players are familiar with the game, like even after one or two plays, it's 30 to 45 minutes. Your first play, you're like 45 to an hour. Play this one, maybe a little bit more as you're figuring things out. Okay, so I have to play this right now. Okay. Um, well, where do I want to play it? Let's just put it right there. Why don't I? And I get to move an opponent's worker onto this card if able. Hell, oh. <laughs> Not able. <laughs> All right, your turn. Bye. I'm going to discard and... But what's that? Oh. Oh, I get to place a worker. Uh. Hey. hey. <laughs> that's right. Okay, you forced me to play that, baby. Uh okay, Joe says that's a good pace. Yeah, I agree. I think that's I think that is a good pace. I feel like you don't want a game like this to go much shorter than that, or else you might feel like, okay, you're not getting enough meat mm -hmm. on the bone it's, but it's again too to long and then it's like you yeah. don't want to be in you don't want to be in munchkin territory either where you're like okay uh, i've been at nine points for so long and you bash me and then i can't get there you know what i mean so i think that's yeah. that's pretty good is it my go or what no so what is happening are you gonna win right now no i can't score nine points right now <laughs> are you gonna get to the four no not a chance promise <laughs> it'd be so ryan to be like no and then do it on the next turn that's so ryan you don't know me so ryan don't even act like it okay where am i right 
there. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Take your time. Yeah, it was a little bit of a, a, a balancing act for like game length on this because uh, but. it is kind of a small box simple card not simple but it's a small box card game yeah sure so typically those don't last too long but it is kind of crunchy and so you want it to be have a little bit of weight to it and, and length to it right uh, without overstaying its welcome so it's, it is a little bit of a balancing act that we're still tweaking and, and working on a little bit I see what are you doing now? so I had the same card you did where it was like play a worker, recall a different worker, but I got to like play oh, cool. two because it's yellow. So you got to yep. destroy two. Type oh, because you did that. Okay. <coughs> and that's it. You're done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> nice move. Do you have to recall all of them? Yep. Oh, yikes. Yikes. Okay. Um, let's see. Hmm. Okay. I am going to discard and draw. Take it away, baby. Me. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, so yeah, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> it's funny. I know what I'm going to do the second I get, like, it, like right after I go, I'm like, all right, I got my next turn lined up. <laughs> well, It's frustrating. I'm nice? like, take your fucking turn. I just want to well, go. <laughs> I'm, like, stuck on this three thing, and I, like, don't have a way to get, like, three. Yep. So I'm trying to, like, figure out a way. Not working out. That's how they get you. Yep, yep, yep. This guy's got three. Oh. So one, one two, three. Yeah. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Yeah, you just gotta look, that's all. It's got Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's tough to see it at first, that's for sure. I get it. And and that's that's another big thing with like there's so much going on on the board. Yeah. In PTS, it's definitely harder. Right. I can imagine. You're right. I can imagine that would be a lot easier to see that in real life. Mm. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this guy. That's a blue up there. I'm uh, For some reason, I'm having trouble distinguishing. I look at the blue and I'm like, oh, is that wild? No, of course not. It's blue. It's got that like white stripe in the middle. Right. Okay. I see what you're saying. But again, that's all. I think that's only because I'm I'm far away on TTS. Yeah, no, I don't think I don't think that's any. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How do I want to do this? Um, hmm. do I go back up here? No, that's kind of stupid. We'll just go here. Uh, I get a Kyperium for each worker that you have. Uh, so I get two Kyperium. All right, your turn. Okay. Wait. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Take your fucking turn. Ryan. <laughs> Are you done? Yes. All right. Taking workers back. This one is the best. I get to draw a card. Hell yeah. I'm so happy you did that. Thank you. <laughs> or I could put a card in the staging area. Uh, yeah. Secret or lab. Se secret lab. Secret, secret lab. lab. Uh, nah. Okay. I'll just draw a card. Um, oh, 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 best card in the game. You're fucked. All right, let's see. This one will give me two Kyperium, and you have to get one 
Ricky Discardo. And then I'm going to play a card. And it's going to be, let's see, let's see which one of these two gets me there. One, two, three for this one. That doesn't do it, but this one I think does, which I'm bummed you didn't play. Um, oh, I learned. One, <laughs> two, three, four. <laughs> right? So that gets me there. Mm -hmm. I have enough, ooh, ooh, enough Kyperium here. Bloop. <laughs> that gets me to four. Um, right? Mm -hmm. And that was what color? That was blue? blue? Yeah. So I get to flip the blue. Awesome. Getting a lot, playing lots of workers. Okay, cool. Getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Your turn, sweetie. All right. You going to do a similar maneuver? Uh, yeah. Except you took all your workers and I thought that's annoying. But whatever. <laughs> um, what, were you going to move them? Uh, again, you can still move your own. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so if there's a better spot that you want to move this guy, for example. Yeah. Not sure, but... Okay, well, first I'm going to do the check mark. Joe says, I have to head to bed. Matt, the game looks great. Looking forward to trying this one. Good luck, Natalie. Night all. Screw Thanks, you, Joe. Joe. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> have a good night, man. Thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, so always a good time having you in the then. chat. Right. I think that's the one that's three, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. One, two... Three? It's three? This guy here is three, yeah. Uh, okay. Yep, looks like it. Goodbye. Move nice. Here. Got your Kyperium. And that was a blue, which you already had, yeah. Yeah. Um, is there a better one? I do want that little thing. The point, yeah, there's nowhere else that gets you in, eh? Yeah. Or do I want more Hyperion? Nah. I'll get the pony. Or the thing. And then Kyperium card. And then the other ones. Are boop. And boop. Okay. I'm done, Ryan. All right. All right. Very, very good. Thank you for being done. You're so nice. Uh, shit. Now, so now I got to figure out a way to get five. Holy cow. Yeah. That's going to be a trick. That is going to be tricky. Let's see. Natalie, what the heck? What am hey, I supposed to do? You're just going to catch up and win? That's not nice. Hopefully. <laughs> that would be really cool. If you came back and won this, that would be cool. I, would, I think that would be awesome. Um, okay, we're going to play this here. And it says, you may discard a KP bot red card from your staging area, then gain its recall reward. So I have to get a red bot. Kill a red bot. Let's see. What does this one do? Gain a Kyperium for us. We'll get this one. So this will give me... Oh, no. It's not the thing. It's the it's the recall reward, right? Um, yes. Okay. The recall reward. Okay. Yes. So I'm just going to gain a Kyperium because it has to be a red card, I think. Yes. Has to be a so I get a Kyperium. You get rid of two, Natalie. You only have one, so you get rid of that. Plus, I played a red card, so I get to put a worker out. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's cool. Uh, let's see. We'll go there. Okay, your turn, sweetie. Okay. Can play this, so I can draw two Ooh. cards. Mm -hmm. Um, you know what's funny about that? What? I'm going to play the same shit as you. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll draw three. <laughs> yep, but I'll get to draw three. Where do I put you? I don't think I care. Let's try this. And I get three. All right. Damn it. <laughs> this. I get three Kyperion. Nice. Get the coins in there. Thank you. All 
All right, I am destroying a Kyperium from you. Bam. Okay. What do you got going on? Nothing. Nothing good. Bunch of bullshit. What happens if you if you completely fill up your your space, and you don't? Yeah, you just got to figure it out. Has that happened? Has that happened <laughs> no, in any of your hundred plays? Because no. <laughs> I'm like starting to get uh, nervous. I'm like, maybe, oh, I got, oh, got a ton maybe of spots really left. really early when like balancing was way off. And, yeah, yeah, but sure. It didn't take long to correct that. Now, did any of the core mechanisms change from your initial um, from your initial game that you designed? Um, Did you add anything? Because I can tell you, in, in the game that, I, that I've that i been designing, the Samurai, um, it started as, like, action, only action selection, then it moved to an auction, and then I settled on worker placement. So the mechanisms changed a okay. lot throughout the, throughout the game. Not really. Um, this track uh, was introduced a little bit later. Um, I guess okay. the, the main thing that changed was um, the secret lab changed a bunch of times and like how you use it and how many cards you can have in there and how you play cards out of it and that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, the track, like for a while, it was just like complete one card of each color to win. Okay. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Real quick. Natalie, I was supposed to place another worker here. Right, I placed a worker here. I'm supposed to place a worker here because it's a red card. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So sorry. Sorry. Continue. I'm sorry, Matt. Continue. No, it's all good. Um, yeah. So it used to be instead of moving up this track, the tr the track and like the 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 uh, the win condition is the thing that changed the most. Um, okay. We used to have a different track for each color. So when you completed a red card, you'd go up the red track. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Um, yeah, and then like for a while there was no track at all, and it was just like complete one. Um, card of each color to win sure um but for the most part like not not a whole lot has changed interesting that's very cool is it your turn it, babe or is it back I to me i think it's your turn okay. when you just played that that was you from your last turn right yeah yeah, yeah then it's your turn. okay all right what can i do here you are not further up the track uh Let me ask you this, Matt. If I play a card into the secret lab, does that activate this red tile? No. No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think we specifically use the word place a card in your secret lab versus playing it there. So just oh. placing it in there. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe just to even further, because place and play are very similar words. Maybe right. we should change it to add a card to your secret lab. Or even on this tile, you could just spe specify that it's the whatever yeah. this is called. Yeah, every time you play a card into your staging to area. To the staging area, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, let's okay. see, let's see, let's see. Babe, I got to play a card, don't I? I got to play you do something it. sweet. Well, just do it. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try my best. Oh, I see. That's an ore. Okay. I like gaining things. Let's play this one. Here. And then I get a Kyperium. And then I get to play a worker. Alright, here we go. Hmm. Are you about to win? No, don't worry. You have many, 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 many turns. Well, the thing is, I can't ever trust anything you say, so... Ooh, I just got a picture of Cameron's welt on his... Yeah. Did you, did you see that? Yeah. It well, it looks, look all, it looks like that because it looks she put... looks shiny. Yeah, she put antibiotic Yeah, but still, on. that's uh, that's kind of rough. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you saw the rest of it. Apparently, there's been some fights about who gets to go on the zip line first. <laughs> oh, God. No, I didn't. I, so, Joe, uh, uh, Matt, we just installed a zip line in our backyard. <laughs> it's like a 50 feet, you know, like 100 inches off the ground and like trees and stuff like that. 
And so my daughter, my middle daughter, Lexi, she's been dying to do it. I think she gets to go first, Natalie, right? I mean, oh, she's... There, you, there's a whole story oh, about I'll, it. I'll read, I'll read it later. I'll read it later, it's, I guess. It's annoying. They it's act as annoying. if, like, the second person isn't going to go on it two seconds after the first person. Right. Like, right. who right. cares? So yeah, it's like, zip takes, like, three seconds. Then, okay, <laughs> now it's camera's done. Yeah. yeah. Well, Lexi's going first, so. Yeah, I thought I'm that, too. My, I'm putting my foot down. I agree with you. Because she's the whole reason we got it. Right. So you have three? Three kids? Yes, three kids. Yep. Yep. I have a 10 year old, uh, an eight year old, and a five year old. Cool. We're and the eight year old is the ace pitcher. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just two, listening to that. Two one strikeouts one. tonight, too. Nice. Yeah, two and like, were they? Strikeouts. Was it all her, or, or did the coach step in for the? The strikeouts were all her. Nice. Yep, two strikeouts were all her. Barry, is she, was, is she it liking awesome. it better now with a little bit of success? Or? She was, dude. And then, so her biggest fear was getting hit by the ball when the oh, on, no. when she's and batting, it and she and it happened. And so yeah. she was, yeah. So I think I have a feeling tomorrow she's gonna be like, I'm never fucking playing again. <laughs> <laughs> is it my turn, Natalie? Uh huh. Okay, I'm gonna take workers. So I get rid of one of your Kyperium. I got it. <laughs> so I get. So I'm gonna get four. Allow me. Yeah. Uh, so two, four, and then, and then, I think if I play this card, Matt, you've got one, two, three, four, five synergy. I get to the promised land. Promised land. <laughs> Definitely a nice comeback there, though. That's yeah, right. you were you were getting close. I was getting uh, I was getting pretty nervous. I thought at the end I'm like if she's going to if she can if you can destroy this card, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. It's going to go on for another hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's sometimes like two players that are playing really defensively and really paying attention, the game can go a little bit longer, but then in those cases like the in those cases those players are so into it and so like yeah. That that even if it goes long, it's it's fine, right? So <laughs> Cool. Well, uh, I, I did thoughts? feel, okay, overall for me, now do you want to go first, Natalie? I have a lot to say. So if you want to go first, you can you can go ahead. Uh, no, you can go first. Okay, I have a lot of thoughts. Um, overall, general feel, I think it's really good. I think it's really good. It has a very, very balanced feel. It's got, okay, so what I was looking for while I was playing the whole time was I was thinking to myself, how easy is it for me to do what I want to do, for one? I was also thinking, not, and I don't mean rules mechanically, I mean, like, is Natalie going to be able to stop me from doing anything I want to do, mm. and how easy is that going to be? Uh, so for that was for one. And for two, I was looking at, are there going to be any combos that I'm just going to exploit over and over and over is that the game's fault or is it natalie's fault if i can um and i this is i wasn't like trying to critique your game i i was just thinking those two things were in my were in my head right. there was this combo i had early where i kept playing these two cards natalie had out that as long as i played all three of my workers i get six kyperium and then if i put that third worker on a card i'm going to be able to score it and get points and i did that two times i think before natalie was like okay i gotta fucking get rid of that card that card's gotta mm -hmm. go yeah and so it was kind of, in, in this play, it was kind of the perfect amount of, I, it felt good to me. I was like, I'm exploiting this this combo that's really clicking for me. It gives me all the Kyperium I need, and then I can, boom, score a card. And at the early game, you can you can score only like two points, and it's still you're still getting somewhere, which you can't do in the later game, which I also like. So even if you have this like exploitative um, combo that you find, it's going to be hard to consistently keep that going in the later game because you can't quickly exploit it. You know, two points doesn't work like it did earlier. Right. So right. I liked, I was pleasantly, I was pleasantly, I was happy about that, that I didn't feel like I was just game breaking the game with some, you know, crazy thing that Natalie couldn't stop. Mm -hmm. And I also felt like there was a lot of, in my head, I'm like, all right, this turn, I got it. I got it. And then Natalie would be like, okay, boom, I move your worker over here. And it's like, ah! And then I'm like, okay, next turn I got it, and I don't think she sees that I got it. And then she's like, I take two Kyperium away right now, and now I can't 
play that. And so it felt bad, but it didn't feel devastating. And that's right. the key for us wanting to play this again. I know that because we don't like take that, Natalie and I. We just generally don't like it. And so recovery time is a big deal for right. us. And the recovery in this is not that bad. I, I didn't find in the first play anyway. I, certainly if Natalie would have removed this card right now before I could score, that would have been pretty that would have felt pretty devastating for me because that's my game this is my game winning card right here. Right. You know, this so if that went away, I think I would have been more butthurt than than <laughs> oh darn at this only but only at this moment. Right. Because it's the game winning card. And so I it wouldn't have felt as bad as I think. I, you know what I'm saying. So what? I, I, those are two things I really, in, really enjoyed. The you are able to mess with your opponent enough that you can kind of, if you're looking at paying enough attention and not just worrying about what you're doing, you can mess with them enough that doesn't feel totally devastating to your opponent. I'll let Natalie speak more to that because I feel like I messed with her more than she messed with me. <laughs> um. But yeah, I and also the two cards that you're talking about that you exploited quite a bit, uh, Natalie. Would would you allow that to happen again next time you played? Probably not. Yeah. Okay. I think what a smarter move for me. I mean, unfortunately, that was like the very beginning of the game, so I just didn't know any better. But right. like, yeah. I feel like if I had all those cards next time, I'd probably just discard them and get new cards. Yeah, they they are pretty powerful cards. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of scenarios where, like, uh, the really powerful cards, you want to play them when you know you'll have an opportunity to remove it shortly there. Right. right. Yeah, like, exactly. you can score that card. Like, for maybe. me, like, I just played them all, and then I didn't remove them for a while. Mm -hmm. And so it was just handing him all this stuff. But that's, again, I feel like that's something that, that's a first play yeah, for sure no, yeah, kind for of sure. thing. You know, like, I, you're not going to do that, things that like, I, like you said. Later in the game, picked up on, and I was like, oh, okay. Like, now I know to pay attention to this on his side or, yeah, exactly. you know, things like that. I also really, really enjoyed how simple the game was. Um, so the worker placement spots, I was – the only thing I was slightly nervous about before we started the game, before you explained anything, before I knew anything, was are these worker placement spots – am I going to have to read the card? every card to be mm. like okay now what does this do this is it's gonna be cool but like what kind of you know and it's just icons and stuff that you get yeah. and i really like that because there was a lot of decisions for me in that in the early game where i was like okay where do i want to place this guy like i could take some away from her but then i only get one i really need to get two and she had one card also early in the game where it gave me two points Mm -hmm. And I used that right here to just go like boop boop, or maybe I used it here to go boop boop. Yeah, you got to just this. Yeah, this yeah, like one. it was like perfect. I loved that, and then I didn't have to use it ever again. It was I liked that decision point of the icons and when to place them. At the end of the game, I mean, like this and this are the same, you know, as this one, you know. Um, so it was easier, but then, but you also had to make a decision. So I, I initially put one here, and I was like, "Actually, don't do that because she's more likely to remove this card." Yeah. Because look, got, she's got she's got one, synergy. two. Yeah. yeah, there's four synergy there. So I'm like, maybe I don't want to. Maybe I'll put it on this one, you know, where she's only got two right now, you mm -hmm. know, or this one where she's only got one. And so I liked that you kind of had to think about that because at first I was like, "Oh, there's two. They're all the fucking same. I'll just put one there." But she did that a couple times where I, I don't think she realized. You know, she's like, oh, this is a cool worker placement spot. And then I scored the card instantly, and now she doesn't get to use it. And so, yeah. like, oh, that could feel bad. So a lot, of the, a lot of the lessons that you accidentally learn in this game, in your first play of this game, were learned against Natalie just by happenstance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and then, and then you learned it and then didn't make, that, didn't make that mistake, and Natalie never got the advantage. So there was a weird, just the way, the way cards landed, I think. Also, you and before I let you talk, Natalie, sorry, I'm talking a lot. Like I said, I have a lot to say. Uh, there was a point at the earliest, the very beginning of the game, Matt's like, all right, give it five minutes. And in about five minutes, or maybe you said five turns, you were like, you're, it's all going to click. And I was like, I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know where to play shit. By the, but, and you were right, though, because I kind of really quickly after that, I remembered feeling like, okay, I get, I understand you're not really going to ever get your cards into a situation where you're scoring nine or ten. Yeah. 
that's just probably not going to happen. And I and, and it was cool to see that because at the beginning, that's all I wanted to do. I was like, my corners, my four corners of this card aren't matching up. I feel like I'm failing. You know, I'm feeling like I'm making really subpar moves. And then toward the middle game, I was like, okay, it seems like if you get three or four, that's pretty damn good because mm-hmm. the, the highest spot on the board is five. Yeah. You know, so if you get, you know, two, three, or four, then you're, you're sitting okay. And maybe you, and it's also like, do you spend more time getting cards that have better synergies and like taking your time to get like a big play? Or do you play a bunch of little ones, you know, kind of in a row to get your squirrel up the point, the track quicker, but you're not getting as big of a payoff. So uh, there's definitely a lot yeah, of the, interesting decisions to be had. That second option where you're doing uh, more little ones, if you do different colors early, you're you're, you're going to open up your engine uh, really Good quick. Call. And you can yeah. do a scenario where, like, by mid-game, every card you play lets you play a worker. Um, so that's that's something where, you know, advanced players or players who have played a lot um, will focus a little bit more on getting those um, those bonuses opened up uh, because it makes a huge difference in the late game. That's a that's a yeah, that's a sure. great call. It just feels it feels like so it's one part, you know, card game. It's a card playing game, but it also kind of feels like a tile laying game to me because you're playing these cards down to form these synergies and it has a very tile laying aspect to it. You're almost building this network of, you know, like, like their cards and symbols, but in in much the same way a tile laying game kind of gives you. You got this grid to play them on. And so I just I thought that was really cool. I also really liked how you could play synergies on your opponent's cards, <laughs> uh, you know, if you get if you're playing them up on this on this row up here. I thought that was really clever. I really like the idea of um, of this. Th- oops, oops! I just unlocked the board of this uh, the center tile here, mm. and only having one spot to um, to score a card. Also, this icon in general is a telegraph icon, which I like. And you know, I was like, ah, I want to play this there. But damn it, now when I play that there, Natalie knows that that means I'm probably going to score something. And so now it leaves you open to attack. And there's not a ton of cards that I saw. We saw most of the deck it looked like. There's only three cards left in this deck. There's not a ton of cards that let you action cheat. You know, there was there was there's that couple, one. But not a ton yeah, there's that one that lets you play one, and then you can play a di- remove a different one like that. You like you showed me how to co- how to combo that with this tile, and so that's like one of the only ways that you could potentially get this off before your opponent realizes you're doing it. And I like I actually like that about the game. I kind of thought that was interesting um, because you still that your your opponent might eventually be like, well, I, it's not worth it to me to stop them for my plans. Mm. But maybe it is, you know, maybe they and maybe they can't, I guess, could be another scenario. But so that's yeah. all. I'm going to I'm going to let you talk, Natalie. I'm saying too much. Natalia, no, what you no, you're, good. You're, you're much better at it than me at the review. No, come on. Um, I thought it was a really good game. I liked, like I said earlier, I liked um, how the rules are pretty simple, but but it's, you know, tough to make the decisions. And I mean, definitely it, to be loud in another game. Anybody about to bark? No, I'm just like throwing a toy. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. It did good most of the stream. That's fine. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you the decisions were the decisions were like tough to make and at the beginning, you know, I felt like yeah, we were a little slower because we didn't, you know, know all the actions and like what they all meant. Um, but we picked up on that pretty quickly, I feel like, like you said, after just a few rounds, um, you kind of like understand what you're doing. You kind of get more. The first flow. recall, I think, is where things usually click for people. The first time they get three workers out and recall them. And that's yeah. when they're like, oh, I see the you flow of first. how this yeah. should be. Yeah. Right, for sure. Um, and then, I mean, like Ryan said, we don't typically like take that type games, but he's right that this one you know luckily you are able to like pivot it's not like you're just totally screwed over or anything you know it just kind of delays it sucks for your a, plans it sucks for a little a bit. bit yeah yeah um but one another thing i kind of liked because i felt like at one i like got that first um recall or that first um 
whatever the action's called, where you like go up on the track when you paint. Right, the like complete completing the project. Yeah, I did that one. I feel like quickly, and then I couldn't get it. I couldn't do it again because Ryan kept like stopping me every chance I had, and I felt like he just like shot up the track. And so the nice thing about having that four and five up there is like it's a lot harder to um, to complete those. So it kind of gave me a chance to catch up a little bit. Yes. Which I liked that because I didn't feel like I was just totally behind. No, you know, yeah, you caught right up. By then, I figured out, you know, to take try to take away cards that might help you, and just to like delay you so that I could catch up. So I didn't feel like I was just out of the game necessarily. Moving this one pissed me off bad because <laughs> <laughs> I was my next shot. I was like, here we go, about to get it, boom, and you were just like, how about I just take this one and put it right there. <laughs> so that that was that was cool. Yeah. To, it, it was cool because it gave me that feeling. And init- initially, I'm like, no. And then right after that, my brain stopped and it was like, OK, how do you what do you do now? You know, it wasn't right. it wasn't like a lot of take that games where, well, I'm just fucked and I have to start over. Right. Then you just got to pivot. You're like, OK. Yeah. I, so now I'm just like, OK, I got to I got to make it up. There's this. enough cards on the board that you can kind of I mean, it, it feels like. Like this here, the, the, my winning card, I kind of just like happened upon it. I was like, oh, okay, if I put this there, that's a few. All I need now is one more in this corner or the or the bottom corner. And so I drew a bunch of cards by playing that red card that let me draw a bunch of cards. And right. I happened to get this, which just happened to match that corner. Yeah, to you give just me the needed fifth, a green the in the top mm-hmm. left or a green in, in the bottom right. left. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. And so it was really, it was, I liked that about it because it didn't feel like, all right, well, I just got to the four. Now it's going to take me, you know, a decade to get the next one. It was a little, you know, it was it wasn't as You're like, difficult. If I pick up the right card, then I'm right back where. Yeah, I was, if I pick up the right card, then I can now I can I can get back in. I can get back in it. So I do. I really liked that. Yeah. How did this play go, Matt, versus others that you've watched? Was it? Do they all kind of play out the same way? Do you have some where like one person just absolutely destroys the other one? Um, we used to have a little game. we used to have a little bit of a runaway leader problem um and we i think like there's 60 cards right so there's 15 cards of each color okay um and each card color has its own like personality uh or theme sure um and so in each color i think we put two or three cards that had the text and if your opponent is further up the track do this as well yes i saw that a lot so that made a that made a big difference um and then just the speed bumps made a big difference and it's a game that um once once we once we like figured out a little bit of the balance um like just naturally when you complete a big project or we when you complete a project you remove that card from your board therefore yeah. removing synergy from your board yes not only does that card go away but that card is no longer providing synergy for its neighboring cards right so automatically if somebody's um completing a lot of projects they're setting themselves back at the same time so there's it just ended up and, and not necessarily by design, but um, it just ended up being a natural flow of, of a, a little bit of a catch-up mechanism built in. Um, so, yeah, the, it, it can happen, but nowhere near as often as it used to in the earlier um, versions of the game. Uh, it's been it's been going um, a lot better for that. And, um, yeah, in terms of this versus other playtests... Um, yeah, you guys caught on relatively quick, and I think uh, again, I think a few of the lessons were just happened to be learned. Like, oh, that's how that works, and you figured it out when it was like bad for Natalie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <All right. laughs> and then you both learned that lesson, and then like Ryan yeah. never made that mistake. Right. So, uh, like, I feel like even just game number two would probably be a lot would be a lot closer. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, it's like when two brand new people play, it's much more likely to have runaway leaders because um, yeah, they don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, how do I like how do I stop you accidentally? Yeah. And and it's crunchy enough that if you don't if you play suboptimally and one person just like by by luck or whatever plays a little bit more optimally, it can 
it can happen. But mm-hmm. like, I'm willing to bet that anybody who's played this game two, three times, it would it would be pretty close. And ultimately, it feels like the person who plays better usually wins the game, which is what you want, right? So absolutely, mm-hmm. yeah. Was there anything that you guys, um, in terms of feedback, didn't like or found frustrating or wasn't clear? Like, obviously, after you guys kind of fully understood the rules. What do you think, Natalie? I can't think of Don't anything. Don't be shy. I can take it. I didn't find clear. Um, you know, everything was... Once you explained it all, I think we understood everything. Every time I read any of the cards, I didn't. I, I knew exactly what it meant. You know, here and there, we might have been, like, clarifying something, but it wasn't really because it wasn't clear. Just, you know, that happens. Getting sometimes. used to terminology. Right, exactly. Um <laughs> I mean, really, the only thing I didn't like was getting frustrated, but that's the nature of the game. So that's not really like a like a negative thing about the game. If that's right, that's inherent to all be, kind of these kinds you know? of games. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But as far as like the quality of the game and how it played, I didn't think I didn't have any issues with it. Yeah. Um, clarity wise, I thought it mostly was all perfect. There's some cards where, um, and I, I mean, this is just in here for TTS. This is not like. This isn't the final product, but there was so there was one thing. It was like, oh, where was it? It might not be out here anymore. It was like it, the card looks like the text is all one paragraph, which means I like read it all. But really, it's like like gain one Kyperium, or if this card was played, like there was a lot of times I'd read that, and I'd be like, I, I my brain just misses the like word or because I'm just and reading you assumed it. Assumed it was and. Yeah, I'm like, gain a Kyperium if this card was played from the secret lab. Right. Instead of gain one Kyperium or if this card was from... So I almost think, you right. it, again, it could just be Bold gain one Kyperium. Or yeah, or, or like on itself. Yeah, or on the next line. And then if this... You know what I mean? Like if you have a, right. a this and or, sometimes it's almost like... Or on it's, its own line, probably. Yeah, it's clearer if the top part is here, then there's an or, and then the bottom part. You know, or instead of or, it could be a slash or something right. to make, you know, if you're talking about clarity. And I mean, it wasn't that big. I read it a few times and was like, oh, that says gain a Kyperium. I just get it. Or if the card was played from the secret lab. And then the only other thing I had thought about was, and maybe this was this is only our first play, so it's hard to give it any actual real critique. But the secret lab in our play just wasn't used almost at all. You know, there was, I played one card, I think, from the Secret Lab was this one. I'm wondering if, I mean, I'm sure you've played it a million times. The strategy, I've played it once, so I've, I, I don't know. But did you have I didn't. Secret Lab it, cards? I did, but you can play any card into your Secret Lab. And I had some cards that said, if you're playing this from your Secret Lab, it gives you a bonus. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, but I found that I felt like I didn't want to waste an action putting a card into my Secret Lab just to get this slightly better bottom half. Right. You know, that I didn't think was as was as good for me at the time. But again, again, I don't want to like say, oh, that's like, something that's wrong be. because this was our first time playing it. You know what I mean? But I yeah. did. That was one thing I had thought. I was like, hmm, I wonder, like, I'm not taking I'm finding that I'm not taking this action ever. You know, there was a couple cards in the game that you had to that were really good cards mm-hmm. that you did have to do that. But I felt like that was maybe again, that's just for the first play. And the other thing about the track, I wondered and you've probably played with this, too. I was like, man, are these three ones just so easy right before the very end? Like, should these be a little bit more than one? You know, I took that one card and maybe it's because you don't want these cards to be useless later in the game. Um, but I took like. I took this the action of that card, and I was just like, boop, boop, boop. I got up there so quick without having to do anything, and I wasn't sure. Right. You know, again, I'm sure that's playtesting. You've, you've already, you know what the hell's going on there. But those are the, just the little, the very basic things I thought, very nitpicky. Um, yeah, it was mostly of the way words were laid out on cards, I think. Yeah. And, and that one thing where we talked about already that maybe if you just put on here, you specify that the card has to be played. I think play versus place will be confusing for people. Yeah, fair. But I, I think if you. That. Yeah, but I think if you just put the staging area, and I can't, if, I'm, if that's not what this is called, I'm sorry. But what this thing is called versus the secret lab could be a little bit easier. Other than that, dude, I, I mean, it's really good. If this was a, if this was a game I just bought at the store, I would not walk away from it and be like, "Well, I can't believe this fucking card didn't have ore on the separate." Line. Right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. "Oh shit, I never used the secret lab. That's broken." You know, no, I, I would I be like, "This is a well designed game." We didn't really game. use this. This action that much like you know so that's not but i also understand that 
our next game, maybe we'll use that a lot more. Right. So again, that, that's the thing. I don't want to. I don't feel like I could even begin to critique right. the the gameplay. But yeah. I can say that our first game well, went first play is going still, as a first play critique is still relevant, um, even though you're right. Like a few more plays, and maybe your opinions on some of these things change. But there's still some relevance to what you're saying because the like. The options of playing games these days, like for people in the in the hobby, uh, like us, like I've got three hundred games on my yeah, shelf. Same. And same. when I buy a new game, if it doesn't, if it if I don't love it, or if I don't at least really enjoy it, or see yep. a bunch it's of gone. potential, yeah. Like my first play of Lost Ruins, Lost Ruins of Arnak was not great for whatever reason. It just didn't like it didn't grab me, and sure. it took me like six months to play it again. And then like we yeah. played, and I was like, "Well, because you this have game rules. all the yeah, you have a million other games to try." So I'm right. with you though. Usually, if a game doesn't hit for me at first, it's fucking out of here. Usually, yeah. usually yeah. Arnak, Arnak, I could see is different because of all the love it got. But yeah, typically, if we play a game and I'm like, I wasn't really feeling that. Are we going to come back to it when we have we have forty five right. unplayed yeah. games? There's yeah. like you know, 50 games and that you're like itching to play, and then why would you go to that one that you're just kind of like, eh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So all that to say, like the a, a first play critique Matters, is yeah. still relevant. I hear um, that very because cool. those are yeah. things that like I, I don't want somebody walking away going ah like that secret lab like this. This is just a whatever example, but you know, that secret sure. lab thing was so weird, and I didn't you know uh, whatever. Maybe I won't play again. You know, right. so um, still, well, I can say, I can say, yeah. and this isn't me blowing smoke up your ass, but I can say that there's nothing in the game that made me go, I don't think, nah, nah, I don't think so. I kind of am like, I want to try it again. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like right cool. now, but we can't. Well, yeah, there, Natalie, I think there's like a, you know, because of like there's some randomness in the game that can change it from play to play. Like, you know, maybe you happen to not pick up cards that synergize great, and then another time you pick up cards that like are really working for you or um for the secret lab example i i had like maybe two cards in the entire game that required the secret lab and one of them was at the very end and it was really good mm, yes and if it was rate. earlier in the that. game i would have totally played it but at the end there was no point because it would have right. taken too long and ryan would have just like taken off anyway so it, it wasn't working for me but if it was earlier in the game i probably would have used that right because the action was really good you know it just yeah. all depends how it all works out it yes. feels very expandable as well it feels like the option to add more cards because i could see i mean i'm sure it'd be hard to tighten it up with that but more cards that do more things or different combinations of symbols or just other it just seems like there's so much opportunity to do more of yeah it. we've like over the you know year and a half of playing there's been tons of mechanisms and ideas where we're like it's like that seems like a lot of fun but yeah. um yeah is it gonna break something else <laughs> yeah maybe maybe it would just hold on to that for a potential expansion after the fact um, yeah so there's yeah. a bunch of stuff that we kind of have off to the side where we're like really cool idea let's not explore it for now because the game feels pretty tight where it is well it's also very it's very i really think it's simple to learn it's simple to play and honestly the streamlined nature of the iconography because the iconography dude i i didn't have to reference this iconography sheet more than twice to know what everything did you i think i think you hit the nail on the head there the only one that i was like i don't know what the fuck that is uh, is the one where you're moving a uh, mm. worker yeah. And that's just, again, I'm on TTS, right? But everything else, I, and personally, I was, like, super clear. This um, this Kyperium exploded. That's super easy. <laughs> Destroy a Kyperium of somebody else's. You know, the Kyperium is obviously Kyperium. The card is, is so self-explanatory. Um, and if you got into the weeds, and that's what I was worried about. I was worried about getting into the weeds with, like, all the text on the cards. And, dude, the text on the cards even that you're playing is so simple. It's, like, it's like stupid simple. And that's a good thing mm -hmm. because that is that makes the gaming, I think, incredibly accessible. You know, I can play you can probably play this with anybody and it's not difficult to understand. There was only a couple ambiguities I had where I'm like, Matt, show you know, tell me how this works. Um, you know, like if you play hit this with exact card, place a worker, mm -hmm. recall recall a different worker. You know, it didn't specifically say that I couldn't do that to another player's. Right. Um, but 
I feel like it would have if I could do that. So then it's easy to glean that it means only me. Right. Um, but again, look how easy that is to do. That's easy to do. You're playing it for the synergies. You know, you get a cool bonus, but you're really playing these cards for the synergies here to try to get yourself points. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of, I kind of really enjoy it. I don't want to show you my game now. I feel, I feel <laughs> that's, that's not the way it's going to work. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised, very impressed. And I just want, I want to play it again. I definitely want to play this again. Awesome. And yes. I think that we will, as long as Natalie was, is into it. Yeah, I think we'd play it again. definitely. Cool. Uh, so, one last question. The, um, the cards that you, that you activated, uh, off of that red planet. The, we call them strategy oh, cards. Yes. Okay. What did you think of those? I, I was going to mention something about that in my potential critique. And I don't know. Again, this is the first oh. fucking play. The one I played felt ridiculously strong. Yeah. Mine was give me five points. Most <laughs> of the other ones dealt in Kyperium. Yeah. And so is that the only one of all the six of those? Or are there, are there more than six? Was, there are those random? eight currently. Yeah, there's okay. eight right now. And uh, the, I the, love this, this the idea the thing, of it. This is the one thing that is that we're working on right now. That's the main thing we're working on is the balance of these. And like um, it used to be that we used to just lay out um, four of them. And then the first person through got whichever one they wanted, and the second person through got whichever one they wanted. I see. That was that was left, but then that means that right. the person that was ahead got the best one. So, anyways, there's just like we have we still haven't fully landed on how we're going to use these cards and the balance of them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is the, the main that thing I that used. we're working on right now. I like them a lot. I I would love it if they all of them were game breaking. Like yeah. this one, man, getting five points, that felt like I was like, that's because I, I got that as I scored. So I scored to yeah, get me up to this three planet further. and then I got to score five more and I was like, that's fucking sweet. But it felt a little unfair. I, I felt a little more overpowered than the other ones, I would say. But I mean, you also had to get the stuff to do it. Like I had to plan out. I was like, in my yeah, I was like, I got to make sure I have enough Kyperium and Natalie could fuck with me there. But I do feel like the payoff for this is seemed more yeah, a little, little than the other ones. Here. Yeah. Yeah, but I love the idea behind these. I think these are another great potential catch up mechanism there. I, I like the idea that they're all game breaking. I like that. I think that's cool. Like, okay, I get to have a kick ass play. I just wonder if you're you're having a kick ass play on the back of the play that got you the points to get there. Yeah. So I you know what I mean? So I it's a really cool idea i really do like the idea yeah i think too. you keep it in there I, I i agree you know maybe just you know keep fiddling with it keep working with what you need to do um but i think it's a very cool i was excited when when i got to the three that was one of the most exciting moments of the game that was my favorite turn of the entire game sure. you know i i played a sweet turn i got this and you were like all right you get to pick and i was like oh i got these three things and they're different than everything else in the game you know it's like a different mechanism and didn't that feel cool, Natalie, when you finally got yeah, to that? You get there awesome. and you're like, oh, man, now I can pick Ooh, one of these Which things. one of these should I pick? Yeah, yeah. like, oh, this is so badass. But I felt like I got five points and Natalie got – what did you get from yours? Do you remember? Uh, I ended up getting six Kyperium. I could have gotten nine. Oh, because you discarded. So, and that's still yeah. really awesome because her potential next turn, she could then score a card again. But five points on a card, I mean, that's the game-winning score. Yeah. yeah. And you know, when so I got my it, Kyperium, it I be... took away staging cards that – so I took away a lot of good ones for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder if it should be four. And the reason I say that is because there's three spots here. Yeah, you so can only, right. If you land there specifically, which usually uh, like people that early aren't getting four synergies that often, they're usually getting three. Right. Um, or they're getting four from here. So more often than not, you're landing here and not overshooting it. So if it gave you four, you get stuck here unless right. once again you really planned for it and right. made sure that you overshot this by one by one advantage. to get up there, yeah, or even two to get yeah. further. Yeah, because the, the, we understand that that card's really powerful. The point was exactly that you have to really plan for it and have the yes. extra. And, and I did feel that way. to do early in the game. Absolutely, I did definitely feel that. And Natalie almost ruined it because she took two yeah. kind of dream away from me she right had before, one and I was like. Here. <gasps> She had one sitting here. I remember the. Oh moment. really? I remember yeah. the moment she had one sitting on one of these double uh, things, and yeah. then you said, "Oh, you're just going to destroy my Kyperium again, aren't you?" And then she didn't. 
<laughs> but boom, and meta. Then, and then that's Playing the when, meta. That's and that's when, that's when it happened. Yeah. Yep. It's yep. Yep. Moment. So very yeah, very fun. I really liked that. I thought so anyway, I think the idea behind these tiles are incredible. I really like that. It gives you some little break in the middle of the game from everything you're doing. And I don't, I don't mean break like I need a break, but I mean like you're going along Change in this like yeah, yeah, and then all of a sudden you're like boom, new new thing. Easy thing, but new thing and awesome thing. And then you go back to what you were doing after this really cool turn happens. Because more than anything in games, my what I like is to have a turn that I feel really, really satisfied with. And that turn gave me that in this game. And so if I can play a turn where I'm like, okay, I'm setting up and I'm going to do this. That lets me do this. And then I can go boom. Like two or three combos or something in a turn is the best feeling ever. And mm -hmm. that was my combo moment that you can have in this game. Yeah. Play this card that lets you pull this worker off, which lets you score that card, which puts me on that red planet there that lets me then flip this card over. And now I got the shit to discard. And now I can go up five more points. And ah! Yeah, so <laughs> that, that stuff's really great. So as long as you provide opportunities for those kinds of moments, I think you're going to be you're in the money there. Cool. And like, to be honest, um, for whatever reason, maybe just the way the cards landed, um, typically players have, uh, more of those like, uh, synergy bonuses or affinity bonus cards, um, flipped over like these guys. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, oh these? Yeah. I had three of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, but you, only, you, only, you only had two up until, like, I think you were here. Before you're right. You got, yeah, you're right. Before, when you got your second one, you were here or something, and oh, Natalie wow. only got two. Usually by somewhere around here, both players have two, and, like, one player might have three, and uh, and then they, they, the last, like, you know, dozen turns of the game. Yeah, they both have them. There's have just them all. tons of combos going off. And I, there, it I wasn't this. This was better. like a slightly lower combo game than than we usually see. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I agree. With well, we probably earlier, played like, very totally, early. right. I, I totally see how like early on you try to get those lower scoring yeah. ones, but flip the, just to flip those over. Like yes, because I didn't realize how these were really powerful. That is later because yes. you're basically, you know, you doing two actions at once. Exactly. Kind of, yeah, and especially with the the yellow cards or the gray cards, right. um, all the gray cards, I'm sure you've noticed, uh, manipulate workers. Yeah. So if you can get your you gray never early, felt safe. Yeah. If you can <laughs> yeah. get your gray early, it's super fun to get like a bunch of worker combos off. Move this worker, recall it. Then I get to play another worker. That kind yeah, of stuff. that's okay. So that right there, if I would say add add more cards into the game, I love action cheating in a surprising and awesome way. That's like my favorite fucking thing. Um, and so, were you so, a Sabine yeah, if, player? What's that? Were you a Sabine player? Uh yeah, Sabine was my shit. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, want, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, you did. Okay, see, I never played competitively. I only I I, oh, I got okay. like three hundred logged plays. But it was all just just with uh, the guy who I started the podcast with way back in 2016. It was him and I. We just he would come over and we would just play ten games in a row, you know. And then he and then he come back the next week. And that was literally the only game we played, Matt, for like <laughs> for an entire year. I hear we that. did like a one by one hundred, and that's all we fucking played. And so, oh yeah, I had uh, oh my gosh, we had so many different decks. I still have a bunch constructed. I think I I love there was this IG eighty eight deck that I loved. Oh nice! It was so fun, and it, so we didn't follow the meta all the time. You right. know what I mean? Because we were just doing, we were just playing however we wanted to, and it was it was so great. But yeah, action cheating Sabine was man. That's yeah, I was stuff. the OG uh, Yoda Sabine player. I won original with Yoda Sabine, and that wow. deck kind of blew up after. Wow! Um, that oh really? That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, super, that was a super broken deck, man. Like, yeah, dude, so much fun. Well, I mean, Yoda's die has no oh, fucking. Man. Yeah, it, that that's. that's there was only crazy. one Yoda die, but yeah. Well, that's all you need, it's really. It's got it's four got no speed, blanks. four speed, and uh, and Yoda. <laughs> four, now talk about a broken card right there. Four speed. Yeah, four speed with Yoda and Sabine is just like. Yeah, bonkers. you're just rolling specials for days and yeah, just fun. action shooting everything. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, so I love any kind of action cheating I can do. And I I mean, there's not a ton in this game, which is probably good. We were careful with it. Yeah, yeah because you could get into more. the weeds where it just gets frustrating. 
Yeah. Um, I do really like the I go, you go. I go, you go. And if you do the action sheeting too much, it can start to take that away, which did happen with Star Wars Destiny. I didn't mind it, but it did happen, and so I can understand that. So I think, overall, I, I think it's very solid. Very solid design. I'm very impressed uh, with you, and I just, I, I'm really, Thanks, I'm really, I'm proud of you, man. This is like, this is very, this is very good. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. No, that's, that means a lot to me. So really appreciate you guys uh, checking it out. Yeah, For sure. I hope, I mean, I hope we gave you any kind of I hope the feedback was decent. I know I've I played with a designer who's like, I don't want to hear anything nice. Don't tell me nice stuff. You know, but I, at the same time, it's like I'm I so reluctant to be like, well, here's what I would do. I hate when people do that, too, because it's like, OK, you don't know shit, man. You don't know anything. It's my first yeah. play. I would never be like, well, I think you should do it this way instead. That's what I ugh, that's like the worst kind of feedback, I think. So, um, yeah, fair enough. No, I, I definitely want to hear the honest thoughts. And um, absolutely. So the few little things that you mentioned are legitimate. Um, and uh, definitely give me a little bit of things to think about. Um, I, I know for sure the balance of the um, the strategy cards is something we're still tweaking on. Sure. Um, so we're going to continue to work on that. But uh, yeah, some of the little wording things like that, those are the main things we're looking for right now anyways, because we're, we're deep enough now that the game's pretty tight. Like we're, we're pretty close. Right. Right. Um, yeah. Just little minor things then. Right. Well, I yeah. have a proofreading background. If you want somebody to, I mean, you probably have people for this that you found on five or whatever, but if you have a rule book that you wouldn't, and I can, I would love to go through that. Like I said, I have a, I have a proofreading background when I, I used to okay, be a court cool. reporter. Um, and so, uh, that's like, oh, it's all proofreading. You so I'm courtroom? kind of like hardwired to find, uh, it, it was all <laughs> depositions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Can you believe that? <laughs> what the fuck did you say? <laughs> did you say yeah. penis? Ooh. Did you say penis? <laughs> I'm gonna write penis. That's gonna be penis. <laughs> and your little stenograph. Yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna write penis. Yeah. <laughs> did you say subpenis? I'm gonna write penis. <laughs> he said penis. I write what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I would love to. I would love to assist any way that I can. Again, you probably already have people for that, and uh, uh, you know, whatever. But. Um, no, I'll, That's I'll probably like pick you up on that. Background where, there. where like our, our next few steps are to get the prototype printed because I'm going to a, a convention here in Canada and Toronto in July. So we need to get a prototype, uh, like a nice prototype printed um, right. ASAP. Um, and so we want to make sure that our card uh, text is all really tight. Um, so I might yes. send you... Um, Absolutely. Yeah, our cards um, yep. for you to kind I would of help, like I'll help it any way I can. Or through, sure. and then uh, we don't have a rule book written, although um, that's one of our very next steps too. So um, yeah, maybe I'll reach out for that stuff. Much, I would, yes, I would love to help any any way I can. That would awesome. be very cool. Well, okay, that's gonna do it for us tonight, everybody. Matt, thank you so much for hanging out with us and teaching us how to play Kyperium. I'm really excited now that I know how to pronounce it correctly. And, uh, <laughs> and we had a great time. Uh, I speak for Natalie when I say the game is, is very, very solid, very, very good. And we're both excited to try it again. And you're gonna hear that on the show coming up either in the next episode or the episode after that. So look out for that. And until then, thank you everybody. You've been watching the Gamecasters Twitch stream and we will see you next time. Have a great night. Cheers folks. <laughs>